Everything's working well. Yes, everything is indeed cool. Cool, 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 cool. Probably. Are we cool today? Are we no. cool, yo? No. All right, fair enough. <laughs> no, I think we're warm I'm enough. Piping hot. I, th I think we gotta be like four degrees uh, warmer. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, I'm able to just breathe on my windows and see the precipitation. It's awful right now. Jeez. It's wet. It's cold. I can't go outside and do my normal thing for like the last three days. Math sucks. <laughs> it has not stopped raining for like two days now. Yeah. It's been very unpleasant. Also, I'm sick, so in case anyone's wondering why I sound like absolute crap, um, there you go. Uh, make sure that my audio is actually working properly. There we go. So I'm going to be slightly dead for this episode, so I'll try my best. So sad. Um, but I've also had two naps today, so. Are you sure this is a good idea? You should probably get some rest, considering um, I don't think a... Don't want to go too hard on your throat if you're sick. Uh, I'm yeah, fine. My he throat's doesn't not have the bit work that's... the next three days. He'll be fine. Yeah, my throat's and plus been... And we can just hydrate him. Weirdly enough, my throat has actually been attacked by this one. Shockingly. Uh, it's mostly been my nose. Sinuses. Which has been making this really annoying the last couple days to, like, function. Because if it was my throat, I can function perfectly. But if it's, like, my sinuses, I'm like, yay, I'm asleep half the day. <laughs> which I, I have. I have messed up sinuses, though. <laughs> Oh, it sucks to breathe. On the plus side, I'm near the end of it, so I can actually breathe out of each nostril now. Yesterday, ooh, man. <laughs> we were playing Phasmophobia, and Ellie was getting spooked to hell, and, um... Oh, man, yeah. I could not breathe. I had breathe. so much trouble sleeping. It was funny. She kept having the lights on. Horrible. <laughs> I kept I making <laughs> jokes that ghosts are around, and she kept flicking me off. Yeah... Ah, you know, very funny. I came close to just, mm -hmm. yeah. It, hmm. Many times did I threaten him a cold bed or the couch. Yeah. But anyways, hello and welcome to the patrons to the Tables of Tartarus, a chapter of Purgatory Corner. I'm your storyteller, Synth Speaks, and today we shall be continuing the tale of Shifting Fates. Come on in, take a seat, and let your imagination run free. Hello, Melody. Welcome to the show. So Hi, last Melody. episode, you guys had a, uh, a wonderful journey of getting a crap ton of money from the poor peasants that live in this village and travelers and um, trading folks, uh, as well as feeding pretty much the entire population of this 100, 200 people town uh, and watching Ellie and Oliver uh, get the crap kicked out of them and kick the crap out of people as well. Don't worry about how that sentence works together. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> so, <coughs> sorry. I will be doing that randomly, so don't worry about it. Um, so if I remember correctly, at the very end of last session, uh, you guys had finished up the stuff. Uh, Ellie had pretty much uh, almost passed out, like, two, two health. Oliver had walked over to her, started healing her up. Uh, Abrin, you checked up on her to see whether or not she was dead. Um, and I believe that's where we stopped. Oh, and also, if my yep. audio sounds a bit weird, my audio uh, blanket things, one of them fell uh, slightly. So my audio is not quite as um, crisp as it usually is. But hopefully it's not super noticeable. But anyway. It sound the same to me. So you're good. Cool. Probably won't sound the same to Cinny though. It We're really doesn't. Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. Really doesn't. It it sounds slightly off. I'm just like, hmm, hmm. My audio geek ears hate me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So you checked up. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, you guys are going to try to get some rest today uh, after the essential uh, difficulty of the battle, Oliver and Ellie. Um, Bill and Averin, you guys are still in more or less tip-top shape. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do for this day while uh, Ellie and Oliver rest up a little bit? Uh, Oliver yes. got the living crap kicked out of him, but he is 
Uh, I want to wander it. into the woods. Let's be real, both me and <laughs> Ellie got the crap beat out of us. I think she probably had less health than I did. She had two health, so yeah. yeah. I had like five HP. Yeah. I think she it's... got high kick harder. Down for a while. She, she slightly bypassed you. So so you want you want to wander into the woods, uh, Bill. Yes. Is there any, anything you're particularly looking for or Tr- adventure, trouble? Maybe right. some shrooms. I don't know. <laughs> I'm wandering into the woods. Crampy. Yeah, what? Whatever may find me, find me. All right. Uh, roll, roll me a survival check real quick, if you would. As I desperately try to figure out what's in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. I am your... <laughs> you, you are, you are the person who works on my improv skills. <laughs> 18. <laughs> okay, here you go. Improv skills, baby. Um, so we're actually going to move to different map for this real quick. Uh, we're going to move to the yeah, world map. Right. I just randomly wander into the ro- wo- woods after all that, just because I can. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Bill doesn't make sense. He isn't smart. He's just bored. Bill Bill has had a long day. <laughs> so you're essentially here. Uh, this distance uh, is roughly... Uh, ignore the feet a uh, couple of miles um, probably more like 10 miles or it's so it's a half distance. day's journey it's a half day's journey is it half a day? Sorry. yep <laughs> according to Ezekiel it's a half day hmm. in that case that should be closer <laughs> where, where, which ah there we go I'll, I'll move that. yeah I Oops, rewatched should. that episode me... just to double check Move that closer. There we go. All right. There we go. Right in the middle. Well, not in the middle of you, but right in the middle. So you start wandering. I'll actually use your picture for this. Um, where Where's your picture? New folks. Bill. 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 So you start wandering. Um, you're out for how many hours? We'll, we'll do a, we'll do a 1D6. Yeah, for a couple of hours like three hours or so but you start you, you're just you're, you're legitimately just wandering you're you're just like eh, wander time so you walk out into the woods and you keep walking and you keep walking and Avron's too concerned with ellie's well-being to really notice oliver is half dead and trying to heal both him and ellie and ellie's pretty much unconscious at the moment so none of them really knows um neither does Arthur because he's doing other stuff along the scenes and uh, so you, you legitimately just take off and not not person realizes that you're gone. I am being uh, left without intelligent supervision. Not adult supervision intelligent supervision <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, you just you just fuck off and they're just like I feel like there's something missing <laughs> There's a disturbance in the bagpipe <laughs> yeah. And so while you're while you're just walking for a couple of hours, um, you hear what can we can only describe as a stick hitting wood. It's really the only way you can describe it. It's just a stick hitting yep. wood. I mimic the noise back. Huh. <laughs> you keep forgetting I'm a kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, you you hear the noise just suddenly stop as you just start mimicking the voice. It just it just kind of stops and then it goes, shathunk, 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 thunk, thunk, thunk. I'm gonna make it back, but slightly faster and louder. Hear it pause for another like a good thirty seconds or so. So, and then, then it just goes. Dun, 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 dun. And then they get back faster. <laughs> I do a single one this time. <laughs> Here it pause for a couple of seconds. Let me let me roll something real quick. Right, cool. Intelligence is not required. Well, here you hear a voice shout. Are you the word fairy? I'm Bill. I'm better. <laughs> I, huh. Hi. I don't think I know Bill. 
Ah. Uh, are, are you Faye? Have you come to finally kill me? I'll, I'll put I'm up a, a good fight. And depends. Are you going to attack me? I, I don't have any reason to. Then no. You aren't trying to start a war. You're in the middle of the woods. Yeah. I'm trying to... Can can you show yourself real quick? Look down. <laughs> <laughs> the one mistake everyone makes is they don't look down. See him look down. He looks at you, and, and, as you are able to see him very clearly. Uh, this is uh, this is a gnome. It's not Grampy, but this is a gnome. Uh, it's a gnome with a fairly, uh, it's a fairly long, um, stick. I mean, this thing is probably, like, about the same size as him, so it's the same height. It's about a three-foot-long stick, so it's not a particularly amazing stick. It's, it's a well-carved stick. Honestly, you're kind of impressed by how, how nice the stick looks. But it looks like he's just been beating this singular tree based on the, uh, um, tree marks. Pretty pretty damaged tree so probably for a while but he, he looks like a I don't know how, how gnomes translate to years he, he looks probably like an adult you're you're not really sure um, you're kind of sort of the same size he's I think a foot above you if you I think you're two foot two I am two foot two and right, two foot two small creature yeah he's uh he's about four feet so he's almost two feet taller than you and he kind of like looks down at you, and he looks out. He looks at a stick. He looks back at you. And he's just like a talking bird, eh? Weird. Fancy. Says the gar. Says the garden ornament. Heh. <laughs> I don't know what garden you're looking at, boy. But uh, I've heard that you know orc taker says garden ornaments. That's no, never, never, never goblins. Or were they told? I mean, to be fair. No one ever expects a living gnome to be stationed in a garden. So they True. pass by thinking it's a tacky ornament, and then you stab them in the cankles. Mmm. Never thought of that before. Do you yield from somewhere around? I am also from the woods. Ah. The woods is a nice place. Yeah, My... I'm, I'm, I'm from somewhere around uh, Greytown, I think. No. Uh... I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Caucus uh, Fiddlesti Fiddlestitch, Fiddlestitch. Yes. Gotcha, Stitch. So what's up? Yes. Uh, I I am a druid in in these forests. I have never actually been outside of most of these forests. I talk to other druids, but we all just have to talk. Are you a are you a wild-shaped druid, by chance, being a bird? No, no I'm a kenku. That's a species. I'm oh. a bard. I speak with the spirits instead of the trees. Ah. I love these trees. This tree has decided they wanted me to attack it and practice on it so I would get better at fighting because it was worried that I could not fight. I couldn't, so it trained me. I have a very important question. Yes. Do you have shrooms? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll roll D20 for that one. <laughs> I do! <laughs> <laughs> Although I haven't really tested any of them out just yet. So they're, um... I, I found a lot of them. They're, they, they've been talking to me recently. I've been... Kind of want, last couple of months have been weird, man. You know, I uh, I well, I keep waking up randomly in the middle of the night. I keep walking around. I keep hearing voices. You know, you know what I mean. Thinks about building a college of spirits so he hears spirits. <laughs> Just he knows stories and can think of all the spirits that talk through him. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Ah, cool. Uh, anyways, I walk around in the middle of the night sometimes because, you know, I have sleep issues. I hear these, these voices calling out to me, and they start screaming sometimes. They scream really loudly. So I walk over, and it turns out it's a mushroom. I get kind of oh. confused. So I, I pick up the mushroom, I store it in my bag, and then it stops screaming. 
it still talks to me sometimes, but it stops screaming. Uh, and, and then, uh, I haven't eaten one yet, but they, they, yeah, they stopped screaming at me, so that's good. I have a very important question. Yes. Do they know of the colony of mushrooms? Uh, which, which colony? <laughs> the, the one in the slums of the Citadel. Oh, no, my mushrooms don't go that far. The mushrooms in this forest are all connected under one singular branch. It's like a giant underground forest, and it stretches all the way up to the citadel, but not quite to the citadel. And then down and out towards the ocean is how they get their water. Although, they kind of filter it through, like, various processes. It's weird. This entire okay. tree forest underground is an entire mushroom forest. It's weird. Okay, Mr. Stitches. Yes? Pull out your mushroom. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh, okay. He kind of reaches into one of his bags and pulls out. It's just a normal looking white mushroom. Bill's gonna look at the mushroom. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> um, do you have speak with plants as well? No, I want the druid to translate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <Lord. laughs> this is why you don't let me do stupid stuff, because... I will learn random lore at random because I will I will find a way to speak the, to the trees. <laughs> All right. Um. I mean, it it look like it looks like a one you would find inside of a grocery store. Uh. But to Bill, he's seen like hundreds of thousands of these mushrooms in his time. It's it's one of the regular types, and he just kind of like looks at you, and looks at the mushroom, and you see him staring very intently at the mushroom. Yabba da baba. He just says, and you feel like a weird you you as since you're a a, a mage, uh, an innate mage at that. Uh, you you can feel the small rush of magical air that kind of appears for a second. You have no idea what the fuck he just did, but clearly he's staring at the mushroom and he's just like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. All right, cool. The mushroom says, "My secrets are, I don't have pants." Likely story. <laughs> anyway, you want to come back with me to, to this town that I'm staying at? Ah. Uh, the Fae will not find you there. Ah. Uh, well, a town without Fae is a town I like. Sure, buddy. <laughs> I take this druid back with me to town. <laughs> you see him put back some mushrooms, so he like, kind of looks at his mushrooms, just like... You want one of these weird mushrooms I found? Hand it over. <laughs> Reaches into his bag and he pulls out. You're you're not quite sure you would actually categorize this as a mushroom. Uh, but I mean, if he says it's a mushroom, it's probably a mushroom. But it looks like a weird, almost veiny, like, like orangey purple, like root stem, with a small like flowering cap on top. You've seen some mushrooms that have the same similar structure, but it looks really fucked up. <laughs> this one wasn't screaming to me. It just started whispering. I Why swear. Did whisper? uh, it, I was just like, yes, you will love me until the day you die. And uh, I don't really like it. Hmm. It didn't whisper sweet nothings into my ear like the other ones did with their screaming. This one just, it just talked. It's very uncomfortable. Sounds fun. <laughs> it just hands it over to me. <laughs> Bill takes it, just puts it in his sleeve for now. <laughs> it just kind of looks at you curiously as you put it into your sleeve. He's just like, ah, you do that too? And he reaches into one of his sleeves and pulls out like, you almost would say molding berries, but they're not, they just look kind of like sweaty. It just plops them to his mouth. You're fairly certain he has not had any social interaction for a very long time. Yes. Nice. If you put meat in there, it doesn't work as well. No, no, it doesn't. But if you put if you put tree bark, it stays tree. Yes, yes, it does. 
<laughs> hey, he follows you all the way back at home. <laughs> the moment we get into town, I pop that sucker into my mouth and see what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> Probably a constitution save with disadvantage. Yay! <laughs> Oh, that's not am good. I am I high now? The moment you put that into your mouth, you feel as if you're the entire world is just colors. Like you swear that you can you can feel existence move. Your your entire mind like your physical body is still in plane and as he walks with you into town, um the rest of the group kinda of sort of knows as he walk in town, mostly because there's now a gnome with a stick tapping the ground behind you. Your mind, though, uh, is in a f completely different place. Um, only intelligence safe real quick. Whoa! <laughs> ah, cool. I have found reality, <laughs> and it's wanting. You, you are in a place where laws of physics don't make sense. You are in a place where the trees are like fancy colors. Your mind is in a place where the water is flowing upwards and like the, the fucking everything you touch turns into something else. That the trees are animals and the animals are trees, but they're also the same thing as they naturally were. And the, the ground beneath you is uh, weirdly floating, but at the same time it's almost like water and sludge that you're walking through. You cannot comprehend or explain what you are seeing in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to go stand on Ellie's head. <laughs> Ellie, you no you're reason. you're being taken care of by by Oliver okay. at the moment, and uh, you're you're kind of barely functioning right now. It's been probably you know five uh, four hours at this point. Actually, no, it took three hours to get to him. Probably not three hours to get back. Maybe like six seven hours now. You're you're functioning. You're functioning rather well. You're functioning well. Okay. Um, I'm probably prob upright and checking on Jackson. Yeah, you, so, guys, you guys kind of were trying to find Bill. What was that, Oliver? So, Sin, just so it's out there, technically it only takes six hours of sleep to qualify for a long rest. Mmm. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, you guys could take a long rest if you'd like, but probably after you have woken up, you realize that Bill's not there. So you could either take a long rest, or you could search for Bill, or take a short rest and search for Bill. Fair. I'll leave that up to you guys what you guys like to do there because it's technically after the six hours so uh, has anyone seen a crow I mean, man? Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will get a long rest anyways so okay um Ellie's just going to be still kind of groggy mm-hmm Fixing up Jackson, or just yeah. Making uh, sure Jackson honestly, doesn't have any mental no issues at the moment from the pan hitting him so many times that yeah. breathing was an option. <laughs> and let's not forget Again, immediately she's just after. just making sure he's okay. And let's not forget after immediately getting hit in the head with a pan, you also got flashed. <laughs> you got no, a concussion we don't and that blinded. <laughs> Aaron is just looking at Ellie and it's just like, hey, Ellie's Ellie. just gonna turn to Oliver. It's like, mm, I haven't seen him. I have been knocked out, asleep, and now I'm awake, hoping I don't have a nemesis that could easily <laughs> toe to toe me. Well, is that, uh, uh, Aaron? I have, a, mm -hmm. I have a couple of regens left. Do you want, do you need a, hey, one last heal? I'm okay. I just don't know if Jackson's okay. He got conked a couple times. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to give it to it's, him. And it's pretty place, solid. So that's cost... <laughs> it's a pretty solid cast iron pan. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just like just like uh, looking at Allie. As long as he's like... not seeing double of me, we're good. <laughs> you not here, Kitty? Oh. Uh, Wait, Allie. Does does Ellie still have me I muted from Phasmophobia? Huh. Ellie cannot hear <laughs> Why can't oh, she not oh, no. hear Everin? 
I, um, I might have to mute it for wait, Phasmophobia. Wait, it's probably from last oh, night. Oh yeah, yep. you might have done that for Phasm. There we go. Yeah, there yep. you go. Uh, I was no, wondering why you were talking over There we go, now I hear her. Don't. Yeah. I doubt if I hear her. <laughs> now I hear her just fine. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. Try to mute people. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just like with, uh, looking at Ellie and it's just like, Ellie, my deepest friend, you know that I care for you in the highest regard and have only the best interests for our team. Uh, would, you, would you be alright if I use your winnings from the match for investments for the team? <laughs> <laughs> as long as those investments will actually assist us, like oh. getting food and potions and other like weapons and such. Oh, of course! I would never misuse our funds. Crap, speaking of potions, I'm fresh out. I'm gonna need to get a foraging again. Yeah, same here. I'm fresh out of potions and rations. Do I have any of the sort? <laughs> Uh, you probably would not have any at the moment. No. Uh, yeah, you don't have any potions on you. Well, I can use our funds and possibly even a couple of, some coin from my own pocket, but mostly our winnings, uh, to go shopping, uh, and for only the uh, highest of uh, things, you know, shopping and whatever markets we have. I don't know this town, but, you know. I'll figure it out, if you'd be interested. I can get us some potions, some food, some rations, and some other things. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine, I guess. I'll trust <laughs> you. But by golly, friendly reminder, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jackson. If you try to deceive me, <laughs> I grew up with a rogue. <laughs> so I can give you the re I could give you the list of regents I used to make potions. It's probably cheaper to track those down than the actual potions themselves. Of okay. course, true. Um, I'm just going to assume that I'm going to give her the list because I do not actually have something written down yep. for that. Yep, <laughs> you give her a fairly extensive list of the various um, I think uh, ingredients I'll... that you require. Technically, the only real region, I think technically off of the basic rules I conceptualized for how alchemy works, mm -hmm. I basically just needed the elemental fluids, which I probably can make in excess. And aside from that, I just need two specific herbs to mm -hmm. bind with it. So it's just like, I just technically need her to track down those two herbs. Oh, fair, fair. All right. Wait. Wait. And above game, the reason I say that do you know how much uh, uh, even the weakest of health potions generally costs? Uh, 40 50 gold, gold pieces? 50 gold a pop. 50 gold. Jeez. Yeah. They're expensive. Ba base D&D &D, uh, money is something you should never go off of, honestly. That's brutal. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horribly broken. And the worst part is they only heal a max of 10 HP. Oof. Oh my goodness. Healing is not something that 5e likes. <laughs> but yeah, so um, you give her the list of a couple ingredients. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, Averin goes off to find some. Uh, well, first she's going to go off and find the stuff she was specifically ordered to get. Mm -hmm. uh, so she'll do that, and then she'll take the rest of the money, and she's going to go gambling. You know, oh, Lord, have we, I, mercy. So this is gonna be a good one. On uh, Taylor's blood. So <laughs> you walk around. Uh, there is no gambling that you could see in this entire town. So you go up to the one person that you're fairly certain would have any knowledge of whether or not there's gambling, and that would be Arthur himself, as the <laughs> more or less leader of the town. So you walk in, and and Arthur like looks and he's like, "Well, hello there. What can I do for you?" Greetings! You, I'm... So, you know this town, right? Mm-hmm. I've built it myself. I'm, of course, yes. Uh, and I was wondering where exactly the... Uh, oh, how do I put this? The seedier 
places in this town, the darker, the sort of things, you know, uh, people who gamble, people that live in the dark, that sort of thing. Ah. If you, yes. Like a gambling ring. In a fashion, yes. Cool. Well, if you, um, he kind of pulls out his map and he lays it down. He's like, so we don't have one here, but, uh, there is a well-known gambling ring, uh, in, uh, uh, Little Foot Forest. Um, let me make sure I find out his name properly. Hold on. Uh, in in the Stepping Stone. Uh, it's a it's a gnome town basically. I believe Ellie said that she was from there, but not entirely sure. You'd have to ask her. But anyways, inside there, there's a bar. Inside the underground of the bar, there's uh, a a um, gambling ring which uh, connects from uh, Stepping Stone all the way to uh, Circadia. He points on the map, and then all the way to the Spire as well. Uh, it's a it's a multi-function gambling ring. They usually use all their proceeds to uh, Circadia, uh, and generally speaking, any money you owe. Uh, Circadia finds and then pays the money. I don't know all the all the knowledge there because <laughs> I don't do gambling. Well, except for you know matches, but entirely separate thing. Doesn't rely on third person. Mm -hmm. uh, but so if you're looking for some gambling, uh, it's about half a day's travel uh, to the east. Um, and you just head over there and you you probably ask the uh, the bartender if. You can do some seedier activities, and he'll probably bring you down there. As a lot of folk could do that, especially half elves like yourself, uh, dragonborn, gnomes, goblins, uh, dwarves, and the like. Mm. That's about half a day's travel, so it's not too far out of your way. Fascinating. Many thanks. No problem. Have a good day. You too. I am so surprised he didn't ask any questions. <laughs> he just gave me the information. <laughs> yeah, Ar Arthur is not one who asks questions, I'll be honest. I am playing him exactly as he would in play by post campaign. And let me tell you, it's got him into some serious trouble. I mean, he... Are you really that surprised? He didn't question that the Kenku had basically broken into his house, stole his food, and offered to make him a sandwich in the morning, and he was like, all right, cool. Just completely yeah. lost over those facts. <laughs> He's a very concerning person. He has far too much faith in everyone on the planet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, if you stabbed him in the back right now, he would probably turn around, hug you, and say, It's okay, you don't need a fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Alright, um... Uh, okay. So, I'm trying to decide whether Averin's going to just want to just head over there. <laughs> How Averin much time just should... goes, alright, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sure, let's just head over. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> She'll right, be so fine. without telling your team, you just walk straight out of <laughs> town? Yeah. On the way there, um, well, on, as you, as wow. you start heading out of town wow. uh you just see bill uh pass you with with a weird gnome guy uh bill bill looks the only word i can describe is out of this world as he walks past you <laughs> everyone just stares for a moment and then just like so just like He's had, he's had, he, this is probably all according to his plan. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps walking. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, cool. So, Bill, you kind of walk into town. Uh, Ellie and Oliver, uh, while um, Averin has been collecting uh, ingredients, which she hasn't given back, by the way. She just went and collected ingredients and then started walking off to <laughs> 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 Um, wow. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's probably been like half an hour, an hour or so since she left. Um, Bill's still not there. Yeah, you guys you guys don't know where Bill went. As you guys are inside of your little um, house over here. Oops. I took, uh, took Afrin with me. Oops. She's off on a oh. journey. There we go. 
Come on, put you in there. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you guys are inside your house and stuff, and, uh, you guys are mostly taken care of at this point. Jackson is slowly regaining consciousness, and he has a killer headache, so he looks at you for, like, a solid, like, 20 seconds, and then lays back down. <laughs> uh, so, nope. Doesn't... Going back to sleep. Uh, can I run a medicine well, check on him to double check his his specific status? Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. You're more than welcome to. Um, that case, uh, I'm actually let's do this a different way. Um, what's your modifier? Uh, oh, her modifier. Plus five, I'll take it. Um, yeah, plus five. In that case, I'll I'll help you. Uh, roll again. Giving you advantage on the roll. <laughs> Oop. Well, I'll take that higher one, which is the same number. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 17. Uh, you you're fa you two are fairly confident. Um, he is nursing a hell of a concussion. Um, probably his head hurts to an incredible degree. Um, his body is bruised to hell, kind of like Ellie's. Um, he, 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 he looks mostly fine, just nursing his many many wounds, and to Ellie, probably his ego wounds, too. Yeah. Last time we had a friendly duel of sorts. He didn't talk to me for, like, an hour. It's not the best thing to be beat up by someone especially shorter than you. So... Yeah. My pants hurt. <laughs> that I'm plus too. Side, I'm plus side At least he's speaking. I'm plus side, these injuries don't look particularly serious, so... Uh. Well, of course. I never fight to kill. If that were the case, I'd be using his own dagger against him. Celeste remembering the orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. But, yeah. Eh, mm. fair enough, you should probably I didn't get in your rest. <laughs> Doesn't respond she's just to gonna... <laughs> She's just gonna poke his head. Ow. Well, at least you're alive. Eh, maybe a cup of tea. You will do him well. I have some good. <laughs> just gonna go and just, like, uh, spit out a pot Usually pot we have, like, two or three things of ale. That usually helps. So, I don't think he's in the mood. I will drink yeah, whatever I, the hell you give me. I think I'll just stick with some herbal sure? tea. I will drink whatever the doctor gives me, not what Ellie gives me. <laughs> yeah, I'm that saying. makes more sense. I'm just going to... So much love in this room. I'm just going to give him some sort of herbal tea I can find in the house. Nice, nice. Get some chamomile. There's a couple of very, like, rather nice teas uh, that you find. Arthur seems to stocked up on a couple of them. Uh, although one of them has a, a note on it that says, For your tea time. You're fairly certain it was meant to be a joke, but it sucks horribly. I think I'm just gonna <laughs> pick. I think I'm just going to pick something that he just seems to have a reasonable stock of. Because just like something with a label like that, I'm betting he's planning to use on a very particular instance. <laughs> Fair enough. You grab one of the tea things, pour it, uh, or not pour it, but you like start making the tea, and uh, it smells lovely, to be honest. Probably lay it up the. Probably start boiling it using a fire or pellet. Mm -hmm. And probably for the occasional shock factor, maybe enhance it with a thaumaturgy. <laughs> Gotta make this just shit good. Just trying to see if anyone knows. Oh, no, no, no. You forget, Sin. Thaumaturgy just allows me to manipulate the way that the fire looks. I, eh, maybe I can. Cause ah. flames to flicker, brighten, dim, and we change color for a minute. I love just the idea of you making a brown flame. <laughs> I'm just imagining you just like, like making it do rainbows just to see if anyone's paying attention. <laughs> Just like uh, rapidly changing between several different colors. He probably questioned whether Ellie needed it or not. Because she's a horrible <laughs> cook. 
I can just I'm... imagine like you're changing its color just to see if anyone pays attention. Bill just opens the door and all he sees is a rainbow within a rainbow within a rainbow. <laughs> oh god! Uh, you see Bill like open up the doors with somewhat difficulty, and he walked into them first. Um, they open up the door, stared <laughs> straight at you as you just start flickering the colors, and to to most people, <laughs> yeah. It looks like a rainbow flowing through. For him, there's no way to describe this, this what he's seeing, unless you're actively on LSD. <laughs> oh, no. It, it's it's incomprehensible to, to the normal mind, whatever the hell he is seeing, but he is entranced. And the druid behind him is just like, Ah, I see. I see you have found the magic of the way, Fey. Feylands. Are you a Fey? Uh, what? And uh, no, I'm a tiefling. Oh, okay. That's much better then. Fey has been fire trying to find me for years now. I've been escaping them with the help of my friends. He pulls out a mushroom. Um, what sort of madness have you? What? What? What drew their ire? <laughs> Oh, I have no idea. I think I kidnapped one of them at one point. Or maybe I set one free. I don't know. It's been a while. Excuse me? Yeah. I, I crossed into the Feylands at some point as well. and They didn't seem to like that particularly, so I stepped out of the Feylands. But, yeah, I, I think I hurt some of them, maybe. Or maybe I hurt a tree. Uh, you can't quite tell in the Feylands. It's very awkward there. Um, I, I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, I, I forgot his first name. <laughs> oh, Fiddlestick something, or something. Something Fiddlesticks. Uh, fiddle, fiddle, uh, Stitch. Um, Ellie, what was his first name? Uh, uh give me a sec. Maybe? I, I have no idea. I did not catch that. I thought you know all of my, my NPCs. You literally just popped up this character. I, I on know. On the spot. It's I, th I thought you something fiddle stick, but fiddle stitch. fiddle stick stitch, fiddle stitch. Something uh, fiddle uh, stitch. On the fly, yeah, I like Francis fiddle stitch, but that's whatever you want. Uh, well, I think it was start with an S. I don't know, but Bill's trying to stick his hand into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Would this be a contesting uh, dexterity you check, sleight of hand, or what would this no, be? No, Bill's not. If you try to grab Bill, Bill, Bill's so out of it right now. He's like slowly reaching for the fire. You could easily just push his hand away. <laughs> Bill, please, please don't. I, I recognize that that doesn't look normal. That's still fire. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to call him Bill Felden Fiddlestick. <laughs> Fel, Fel, I'm gonna type into the chat here. <laughs> I step away from my computer for a moment, and I hear, and oh boy, I'm still up in arms from yesterday. <laughs> you just um, have a, you have a very very out of it. <laughs> uh, so it's like my name is Felden Fiddlestitch. I'm uh, a druid. Please, uh, pleased to meet you. I am Doctor. I am Oliver Richards. I am a doctor and alchemist. Ah, interesting. Do you work with the plants? He pulls out his mushrooms again. They talk to me. They tell me stuff. No secrets. But they tell me things. This one told me that his secret is that he has no pants. Just looking down out of the mushroom. I wouldn't wager he'd have much use in pants anyway. Exactly. That's why it's a secret. They don't need pants. He puts it away. The pants are a secret. At Your friend point, here, the weird bird thing, which I'm fairly certain is a weird shape-shifting man, but he says that he's a kanku, so I kind of believe him on that end, mostly because he took my mushrooms without a single flinch, and uh, I respect that of a bird-man creature thing. Wait, by took you me, Bill, uh, can I run a medicine check on him? You're more than welcome to. Everything around me is a beautiful <laughs> Of course. You you are fairly confident 
that he did take something. <laughs> Probably. Uh, he, you have no idea what the hell he took. You have no idea what symptoms he could possibly be experiencing. His eyes, the only thing that you can really tell with that Nat 1 is that his eyes are indeed shifting colors and they are very, very dilated. Everything is pretty. Ellie, yeah, you have I'm, seven I have faces. A, I have half a mind to have both of you who uh, lay down for the evening. He asked for a mushroom, so Ellie I gave him this weird-looking is... one, and then he ate it when we walked into town. Can I see one? Oh, I only had one. It was weird and purple. Uh, well, orangish purple, and it was kind of veiny, and it was like flowering a little bit, and it 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 didn't yell at me or scream at me. It was very weird. It just whispered to me things. I'm used to them yelling at me, and it's quite calming and peaceful, honestly. When they start whispering to me that they'll be there until the day I die, it, it gets kind of weird, you know? Uh, would I be able to run some sort of nature check off of his description? You're more than welcome to. You have been, uh, you've seen a lot of mushrooms in your days. Plus seven, please don't let me down. You have never once heard Dang this it. mushroom. You're fairly confident that if he's been to the Feyland, it was probably a Feyland mushroom, because you've never... It, it was either a Feyland mushroom or it was a cactus mushroom. In either uh, case, Feywild. it's not good. good plan. The home dimension of the Fey is known as the Feywild. Ah, it's either a Feywild mushroom or it was a cactus mushroom. And both are very bad in your mind. Um... You. You're the one. Just like looking back in it, just like looking back in his uh, pouch of regen, it's just like, figures this is the day when I'm running low on these. And I, I think, <laughs> think I should just have both of you who spent, uh, lay down for the evening. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna need to run some sort of, or I'm gonna have to give you a lesser cure or something, because I'm not convinced that either of you are fully stable at the moment. No. I'm gonna stand on that mountain and point at Ellie. <laughs> you have to ask her about that. <laughs> You'll uh, talk her into Ellie it. Ellie is going to <laughs> pop into the room and ask him, like, okay, Ollie, what's taking so long with the tea? I think he's starting to see two of me. That, or he's just trying to get me to leave. Oh, hello there. Are you a fey wild creature? I got held up. I'll be there in a minute. I just say picking up the teapot and once again casting Thaumaturgy to extinguish Ooh, the flame. Oh, does not recognize the snow. <laughs> not in the slightest. Um, I don't think so. I believe I'm a half elf, but oh, good. I mean, I talk to gods if you want count that as fey. Fascinating. He pulls out mushroom. I talk to shrooms and trees. I'm a druid. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, this one yelled at me and screamed at me in the middle of the night until I picked it out of the ground, and now it just whispers to me. Interesting. Puts it back in his pack. <laughs> uh, Ellie, this is Felden Fiddlestitch. He found Bill. <laughs> ah. I would say that the <laughs> weird bird man creature thing called a Kanku found me. But it could be that the trees made okay. him find me, or I found him by the trees. He mimicked my stick. So really, you could say that the nature of my stick found him who found me. Everything so, Bill went on another trip and brought home a friend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're good. It's fine. As Bi Bill just walks over to you and just, like, grabs onto your leg and just starts to try to climb you. <laughs> Just go to whisper to her um, as I'm passing. I'm just gonna whisper to her as I'm passing by with the teapot. If you can, please convince him to lay down. I think I think he's good to use my lesser cure all in the morning when I get these materials together again. Uh, <laughs> I haven't experienced this since huh, uh, when I was in Littlefoot. This okay. This is fine. Uh, he's just not feeling great. Um, climb, yeah, climb, I'll climb, try climb. to lay him down. Um, okay, Bill, that's my ear. <laughs> nope. Nope, you're the mountain. 
Mountains don't I... talk. Mm-hmm. Just slap your okay. face. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hello, uh. Fel- 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 Felden? Felden. Fiddle Felden. Stitch. Yes, that's my name. Uh, I'm Eleonora Gray. Well, sorry. Not Gray here. <laughs> uh, just Ellie. Ellie, well, hello for now. There. Hi. I was told by your to go... furry friend here that uh, I, I, I would not encounter Faye in this town, and so far it's been true. It's been exciting. The Faye have been following me for a very long time. I think I pissed them off somehow. Maybe I stole a name, or maybe they stole mine. No, I have my name. Never mind. I don't know if I'm it kind of feels like you lost your name. <laughs> <laughs> I have voices in my uh, head. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, and I really hope you enjoy the town. You should meet um Arthur. Arthur Skyweaver. He's mm. a wonderful, gigantic dude. I'm going to try to get this <sighs> feathery mess to bed, and hopefully he doesn't attack the other mountain that's sleeping. Nice. I have no bed. Oh, there's plenty of beds in the town. I don't know if we have a spare one here, but we can always make one. Okay. I could go and talk to the trees. I believe the doctor wants you to stay here for at least a day. Oh. Does he sense the fey within me, or on me, or around me? You'll be safe here. I mean, I pretty tough as is, despite how I look. Ah, we have, have a doctor ever seen that a fairy, can fairy, dear child. Uh, no, I ah. have not. Well, actually, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Ah. We went to a different area of sorts where it's covered in snow, and there's a bunch of fairies there. Wow. Ah. They were obnoxious. You found the Fae! How? Oh, how did you deal with them? Did you beat them? Or did you talk to them? Um, well... Did you feed the mushrooms? As it turns out, that's a bad plan. Some got high. Ah. <laughs> kind of like he is. He's a, little, high. he's a little bit worse. I gave him this weird mushroom thing because he asked for it. it. It was whispering sweet nothings to me, so I, I just kind of uh, picked it up, and then uh, it, it didn't want me to get rid of it, so I didn't. And Yeah, it, mushrooms talk to me all the time. It's not too weird for them not to want me to get rid of them. But this one was, like, creepy. So I just held on to it so other people won't see it. And then he asked for it, so I was like, yeah, sure. I gave it to him. Then he ate it when we walked into town. Yeah, it was very concerning. So the mushrooms basically talk to you like bar people. Okay, I can handle that. That's fine. I, I saw them do. Mostly, it's the mushroom forest under us that speaks to me. Would Ellie know about this? No, but she the statement mushroom know. forest is a little bit concerning. <laughs> it is pretty concerning. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty interesting. We'll have to catch up more about yeah. where you're from. Well, if this is a town safe from the Fey, then I will have to stay in the town. I will sleep on that bed. He points over to Bill's bed. Have a good night. He walks over to <laughs> You're very, very aware this man does not do social convention very well. I assume by now I've probably already given... Uh... Jackson. Jackson, his cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Yep, Jackson. He's more Jackson's very slowly drinking it and promptly looking every way, which way possible, aside from the door. <laughs> I hope he didn't hear me. Slowly drinking his tea. Fiddle Stitch uh, just flops onto Bill's bed, and within two seconds, you hear him snoring. Well, yeah, now I have yes. to get this leech a bed. <laughs> and Ellie is just patting Bill's head. As he is actively still trying to climb to the top of your head. 
<laughs> He's extremely high. Like, you can hear the rambling of someone who is either extremely lonely or so high that the first thing that comes to his his mind comes out of his mouth in a weird rambling. And it's and it's and it's changing languages every time. Every word is a different language of the three that he has. So you understand like one out of every three words. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> he is gone. What did you do to their mother? <laughs> <laughs> Ben. <laughs> uh, Ellie's going to uh, make a bed next to the druid, just for Bill, and try to pry him <laughs> off. He is going to try to stay, and all you hear is the winds are coming for me. <laughs> strength, beach, Ollie! strength, baby. Ollie, he's not letting go. Ah. Uh. Um, I'm probably going to give her a hand with this. Uh, I'm definitely flash of geniusing that. Just add a flat four her to that roll. All right, cool. So, yeah, so you she barely gets him off. Uh, so she fights with him a little bit. It's like ah ah my hair ah my ears ah not the face. And she's like Pulling. I'm just gonna hand her the invisibility cream as she's at this. <laughs> and you just like hear the calling of Bill like I will fly with the winds. <laughs> you finally managed to get him off of you. Pull him down. Uh, all of her heads to invisible decrees. Here you go. Here you go. I have lost this day. I mean, I just figure it's just like a quick if you want on him. If you just want him to stop looking, he can try. You can just easily just make yourself invisible for a bit. <laughs> it does have oh. a. It does last for an hour. Huh. That'll be entertaining as much as I would love to scare a couple people. <laughs> is that or is that a no you do not want to use it? I won't use it for right now. I'm pretty sure I've... things are too high in the sky at the moment. <laughs> we have a freaking high bird, a druid, and I, I'm pretty sure he's okay now, drinking tea. <laughs> Though I'm certain he's going to have a headache for... Though I'm certain he's going to have a headache like he's not, not going to believe for the next day or two. Oh, he'll be fine. It only lasts like half a day. Usually we just drink it away and we're good. <sighs> Maybe I should have asked of our... Aberin to pick up a couple more cranberries and other such <laughs> ingredients. Cranberries like are really good for infections. I know this because I've had to use it on wounds. Granted, usually I use alcohol. I'll just bring it up because according to Iron Gut, I'm apparently not horrendous when it comes to making alcohol. Or at least the first one I gave him wasn't terrible. Oh, that's good. Yeah, alcohol isn't too hard to make, at least in my experience, but I'm a horrible cook. Jackson <laughs> can... Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of banned from cooking, according to him. Just, like, trying to debate it. Hey, if it's just like you tried with the frying pan or something like that. <laughs> just trying to make... Yeah. Decide if you should make a comment. And it was just like... I think you need to adequately clean your tools after they get blood on them. <laughs> well, it was even before I really got into fights. It's because Paylor, to make it a re actual weapon instead of a cooking thing and make it all tough, um, he put a little curse on it out of spite because I kept bugging him too much when I was younger. <laughs> And so, if I use it for anything but fighting, um, it makes the item... It makes you sick. So, like, if I cook with it, it, it will make the people sick. Isn't, so, yeah. Isn't it, 
Is now a bad time to mention that the most recent polish I put on, on that thing synthesized, caused it to synthesize the divine magics of a paladin? <laughs> well, I mean, Taylor is wanting me to be his paladin. Granted, Char also wants me. But, you know, it, it's fine. But, it, yeah. I'll just stick with my fry pan and eventually just being a barkeep or something. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, after... Oh, I, yeah, so you guys pretty much have your kind of talk. I assume that you're trying to make sure Bill somehow stays in his bed? 100%. <laughs> Ellie's just... like in between his door and occasionally checking Jackson's room. And she's just staying guard. <laughs> just every once in a while, you just see Bill walk, start walking. Like he'll stand up, start walking in circles, or just sit up for like a good five minutes and just stare off into space. So he'll be riding that high for a long while. <laughs> the good thing Gosh. I'm used to this. Yeah. Uh, Oliver, you would you would definitely notice after a couple hours of Ellie standing watch and you talking with her that uh, yeah, Avrin, Avrin. That's been gone for a while. <laughs> you think Avern would be back by now? Do you think something happened? Just asking that to Ellie. Honestly, knowing a certain someone of mine, and she's going <laughs> to look at Jackson for a moment, she probably ran off somewhere with the money or is adventuring off somewhere oh, and probably got lost oh hey above game i believe we had a sending stone didn't we uh you do yeah Yeah, we do actually i'm gonna scream at Avrin. <laughs> do, you think be, do you think we'd be able to contact her about it yeah i have the sending check, stone still check yeah just to see where she's at and what's going on who knows uh, you, she's you... probably either stealing more money or making more money in some way <laughs> So you can send her 25 words. What would you like to say to her? And she can send you 25 back. Mm-hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Starts <laughs> typing out in notepad. One, two. I mean, if you think about it, we do technically have time to do that. We're, we're not exactly yeah. in our... That is true. We're not exactly... So far as we can tell, we're not exactly short on time for sending this message. So theoretically, she would actually above game have time to plan out what she, how she wants to use those twenty-five words. <laughs> yep, as she's planning to use those twenty-five words, Evan, we're going to look back at you. Um, so you've taken a couple of hours. Uh, it takes roughly half a day or so to get to um, the the stepping stone at a normal pace. Uh, obviously, if you run. Or if you do... I don't know if you have any magics to help. I don't think you do. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, connect jaunt, but yeah. Yeah. Not uh. super useful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, essentially you just... You can run at full speed, make it half the time, so six hours. But um, depends uh. on what you like to do. She'll probably she, mm, yeah, she'll probably run. She doesn't want to take that long. Like she wants to be able mm -hmm. to like spend as much time as possible in the gambling thing, and get back. Uh, hopefully before Ellie gets too mad about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, roll me a Constitution save. You're running full sprint for several hours. Uh, anything honestly above an eight, and you'll be fine. Uh, that's a seven. <laughs> oh my god! We'll give god. you an exhaustion until your next long run, uh, until the next long rest. But um, for the most okay, part, you sure. should be fine. She has a plan. This will work. This this will still work with it. Yeah. <laughs> so you end uh, up inside. A rough game of Arin. Um, oh. that one point of exhaustion means you have disadvantage on skill checks. That would include gambling. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So you are, uh, you're very tired. You, you've been 
running full sprint, you're very tired as you walk up into into this area. It's a very nice spot. Uh, the the trees are fairly high. The area is pretty nice. Um, you don't actually see like any buildings or anything like that as you're like full sprint running. Uh, you you more or less memorize this section of the map when uh, Arthur showed showed it to you. Um, but you don't really notice any, any trees until you see a single lone uh, tavern made of um, wood and stone uh, set head directly in front of you. Do you look up like at all? Period. Um, she probably look or look around or something. Mm -hmm. She's very observant with these things. Cool. But do you look? She up? wants to take note of everything. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. You do notice that there are what looks to be uh small wooden outcroppings almost inside of the trees, about seventy feet above you. So like small like circles around the trees that are definitely not branches. Uh, they look almost like humanoid made. Uh, basically. So in theory, uh, that would be where most of the denizens of the town live. Oh. <laughs> so for this lone tavern that's just in the middle of the woods gavarin just received the message uh thing oh <laughs> that's something basically the message is are you alive where are you also when are you returning what are you doing also do wingman or karaoke <laughs> do you want to do wingman and karaoke that's exactly 20 <laughs> I mean, even outside of that, it does actually have the stipulation that technically he takes an intelligence score of only he won to uh, discern the meaning of the message, so fair <laughs> enough. Everyone so. receives that, and like, just like, thanks for a moment, and just, just like, sends back something along the lines of like, I got this, don't worry, be back soon. Eh, sure. Still didn't answer one of the questions. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Did not answer any of it. <laughs> Fred right off yeah, that not word even set back. One. You hear it, you're just like <laughs> fuck. <laughs> well fuck. Um uh, she's a she is alive, but she didn't answer any of my questions of where she's at and what's going on and what she'd like to do afterwards, so well, so the message was smug. well. The message was smug enough that you'll you'll probably discern. <laughs> yeah, she's probably not in any danger. Yeah. So in other, so, she's so okay. In other, so, in other, so in other words, we have no whole means of tracking her down, and well, and she's probably had... sorry. And she's probably not being reasonable with the cash that she. Just obtained. <laughs> no, I'm just well, surprised. Let's ask a fellow rogue. So, my my lovely Jack Jack, if you had a loadout of money, what would you be doing with it? Is it mine or someone else's? Basically, someone else's, but her own. So, she has some of her own and some of somebody else's? Uh, we'll just say it's her own. He looks very confused at you. <laughs> why, why, why say that it was someone else's then? Okay, it's because she's using my winnings and the money she likely got from Arthur at the moment. So, she has her own and some of yours? Yes. So much easier to say. With well, the winnings know. that she got from you, she's gonna keep those aside. The winnings she got from Arthur, those are her own money. She'll play however she wants. It's the the typically a thief's code is that the money that you steal from other people you can use to your own wishes. But the money that you get from other people that is someone else's that you're holding for them, you use whatever they tell you to use it for and then get back. That way you don't have to owe them anything. Fair point. So that doesn't make sense how you ended up owing Tommy a lot of money. Oh, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I used my own money. And sometimes I did things mm. 
that caused me to owe him, and he took it as monetary gain. Yeah, it's definitely a gain on his part. Yeah. Look, especially since I had a goblin destroying the floor and a wall. Impressive. Oh, actually, it really was. She's like, like two foot tall. She was like shorter than a gnome, and she had this giant shelf that's as tall as you. And she destroyed a wall, and she kept destroying the ground. And I had to pay for it. He originally tell wanted me to you just ate keep it food on without tab. him, without paying him. Oh, definitely not. I always pay. Oh, good. <laughs> Why? Oh, because uh, he takes that as an unsaid contract that if he eats his food without paying him, you get you owe him favors that he can call upon at any point in time. Well, I always covered it. I even gave him a gold piece for information about a disease, you, and food. Hmm. You overpriced that. <laughs> well, you know. But yes, yeah, so Avrin, you are very tired. You're just sent off the message, and uh, I'm assuming you walk into the tavern. Well, she's gonna like she's gonna like take a moment. She roll back mm -hmm. her shoulders, stick her hair back, recover a little bit, getting the getting the right vibe, and then suddenly she she's just gonna slam the doors open. She goes, "Honey, I'm home." <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't remember, Ellie. Grumble was a human, yeah? Yes, he is. And Avrin, I, by golly, kind of... <laughs> love my, on my gray list, but I also don't know that you're there. But yes, he's a human. Alright, cool. Yeah, Grumble, Good like, raises human. the head. He, he's, Wonderful human. He, he's a semi-tall man, probably around uh, six foot two or so. Um, he, he's... Fairly muscular. I mean, like he's wearing a, a nice, like, um, uh, a nice plaited shirt uh, that's like tucked into his belt, and uh, nice, like, probably leather trousers and stuff. And uh, he's fairly well built, fairly standing tall. He's like washing some cups uh, with with some water and like cleaning them out with a glass. And he looks up at you. The tavern is um, fairly active at this point. There's a bunch of different gnomes in here, a couple of uh, half-elves, some humans, um, all of which turn to look at you with absolute confusion as you stumble inside. And Grumble's like, hello there, um, can I help you? Hi! <laughs> she just like stumbles over. Uh, Stormy, she's using the tiredness for advantage. Mm -hmm. She just stumbles around. She, like, flops onto, like, whatever table or counter is nearby. It's like, mm -hmm. how you doing? Do you know where I can do the, the, the money, the gambles, you know, the card games? I like card games here. I'm good at cards. Hi. <laughs> Literally, like, most of the tavern just goes back to what they're doing. You're just another drunk that, that entered the tavern, basically, to most of them. Um, but he, he raises his eyebrow at you, very confused. And you see uh, another, um, uh, I believe, a half-elf at this point kind of like slide into the chair next to you. He looks kind of slick. Um, he's probably a little bit taller uh, than most folks. Uh, probably like six foot four, but he's very lean. So he slides into a chair, flicks back his hair, and he's like, "If you're looking for some card games, I think we can interest you in a table downstairs." <laughs> that sounds good. All I got right. the monies. He stands up and he starts walking to a side door. As Grumble just quietly stares, cleans out his cup, eyebrow raised, and yeah, watches. <laughs> <laughs> Very confused. I think we still have a map for Grumble's Tavern, actually. I believe so. Uh, let me see, actually. Uh, I point. see it at the top of. I see it uh, on my end. It's the first option at the top left of the oh, yeah. available areas. We do have probably one. Need to, probably need to remove like all of the characters okay. here, but yeah. Do -do. Oh, I think um, he deleted Grumble as well. Oh, well, shit, shoot, wait. 
No, my grumble. Where are you? Uh, oh, he was right around is. here, if I saw correctly. Yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Which face did I use for him? Shit. <laughs> I don't know which face I used for him. Whoops. Um, can you undo who the delete or something like that? Uh, and then you can just delete Oh, the I did. There we go. Oh, thank you. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to put... Uh, we're going to put that Tavern. there. There we go. We're just don't pretend this is downstairs. It's the downstairs. There we go. The cellar doesn't quite fit for the theme that I'm doing, so we're going <coughs> to have you sit right there. All right. So you all, you you both head downstairs, and uh, you see um, there's a couple of folks down there. There is a goblin who has a uh, particularly large um, cigar in his mouth. Uh, you see several folks, uh, uh, the folks half elves, uh, a dragonborn sitting down there, a uh, bunch of things. It's a little bit more snazzy than upstairs was. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, folks playing cards, uh, some of them doing um, like gambling, uh, roulette tables, um, a bouncer is standing there, a particularly large seven foot six uh, dragonborn is standing at the entrance, uh, a red dragonborn, and he is built like a freight train as he's watching the area. And the goblin looks at you and goes, Ah, oh, hello there. You're, uh, you're new, aren't you? <laughs> hello. If you're looking for a game, sit down. What do you prefer? Uh, anything with cards, really. I like, I like hmm. cards. I see a lot of cards when I was smaller, you know? Uh, and... Pretty little lady like you should not be playing cards like folks like us, eh? Well, you know, you know what they say. You got some money, you can do anything. And I've got, like, all the money. She opens right. her back just, just slightly, but also slightly protectively, but also, like, but been in an attempt at drunkenly, and he sees, like, all the 17 million platinums that are in there. Gems. He raises his bang. eyebrow quite hard. Ah, she do. Sit down. <laughs> Seat gets pulled out for you. Yeah. <laughs> My Annie got me a lot of the monies. Came into a lot of the stuff. So she's like, yeah, just a little, just a little spending monies. Got an allowance. Rich kid like you. Let's play cards. Like five of them sit down. They they all drop a platinum onto the middle of the table. <laughs> big stakes, big games. Mm. Everyone puts down two platinums. <laughs> you see, like, everyone raise their eyebrow as they reach into their own bags and pulls out another platinum. <laughs> ah. Impressive. Uh, they start shuffling out the cards. This is like professional card shuffles. Uh, roll me perception. Mm hmm. Hmm, interesting. All right. So you, you see him, like, slap out a bunch of cards, and he, like, grabs the uh, two cards in front of him. It's like uh, a Texas Hold'em style, so uh, two cards are placed down in front of each person. Uh, five cards uh, will be placed in the middle. Uh, usually, um, I think it's two cards are placed down in the middle. Uh, you check them, and then after each raise, uh, you place down another card, basically. Uh, so he checks his card, um, and we're not going to go through, like, actual, like, poker poker, but essentially we're going to have some luck rolls. Uh, so if you would not mind rolling me a, uh, d20. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a private roll, which I believe... <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I actually had another suggestion you could potentially use for this, actually, Sin. Oh? Well, you could run something like an intelligence or wisdom save to try and, and define decide if a if a gamble is worth it with the resources you have, 
as well as the potential of a sleight of hand roll in, or, in an attempt to cheat, if that's the desire. Uh, true. I'll do that next though, round. So of course, if you get caught cheating, you probably are left out of the ongoing winnings. So I didn't so that change that against on. Perception. So I accidentally rolled for Avrin. <laughs> or but rolled God dang, Avrin. Roll. Yeah. <laughs> So that's two net twenties in a row. So we'll go with the wisdom check next round because I want to um, do a roll there to match hers. Um, you have a perfect hand, and by that roll, so does he. Um, as uh, he looks stone faced at you, he goes. <sighs> as he reaches into his bag and pulls out eight platinum and places it down on the table. <laughs> Uh, one person bows out the rest of them place down eight more platinum everyone's stone faced everyone reaches in and pulls out ten platinum Jesus Christ they each pull out two more and place down one dude bows out (sighs) ain't scared little lady everyone giggles say yeah I I ask you, pray some gods if you, if I believed in them, you know. <laughs> right, well, roll me an intelligence check real quick, or wisdom, whichever mm-hmm. one's higher. Uh, why am I still clicked on you? God damn it! We'll do that guy. Damn. Clearly, you you can tell that the uh, you're making some damn good choices here. You're welcome to raise it even higher if you'd like, or you can try to deceive them to make it seem like you have a worse hand. Whatever you want to. Uh, Saverin. So I'd say probably just de- probably deceive. Uh, mm-hmm. just just like pow at the cards. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me to see you, check. God damn. Okay. Unnatural twenty. Um and he looks at he like looks at you like his eyes narrow down at you. You don't know how to play poker, girl. No. My Annie just taught me, you know, horses and Fluffy little things, you know. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> he places down another car, or dealer places down another car for him at this moment. He looks at his cards. Um, uh, and he again reaches into his bag. Well, let's see if you can catch up. As he places down uh, another uh, ten onto the table. Yeah, At this point, interested. everyone else bows the fuck out. <laughs> like, nah, bruh. Everyone reaches in and pulls out another bunch. Jesus <laughs> Christ. He looks at you and he's just like... Mm. Um, roll me another perception check. Okay. <laughs> Better than I earlier. roll... Yeah. So you notice he just like looks at you and he nods uh, almost imperceivably as he checks his cards again. Last round. As the final card gets placed, you can tell you have a perfect hand. Like that is absolutely, is a beautiful, astonishing, beautifully perfect hand. And you cannot tell if he does. Mm. Call a fort girl. Averin will probably pout a little bit more, but like, uh, and it's just like, mm, I call. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this. I don't know how card games work here. Oh, uh, you. you... <laughs> call and you're you would be very aware that winners win so winner uh house loses generally speaking um make it more fair for the the players since the house typically wins most ties but for this gambling ring specifically they do winner uh 
house loses ties specifically to make it more incentive for people to continue playing specifically so that they can uh, usually get more funds out people um, but so he looks at you and you he's like uh, he nods at your call there's um, I think 30 platinum from him 30 platinum for you 20 from uh, two people 10 from two people so 20 20 40 10, 50, 10, 60, 30, 30, 60. Uh, so that's 120 platinum on the table. Goodness gracious. That's some big games right there as he flips over his cards. Uh, it is the second best hand that you can get in poker. He is so confident about winning that he starts to move his hands forwards to grab the 120 platinum. And then you flip Ever. your cards over. <laughs> oh, does that mean I win? It's like literally every person in the table goes. Hmm. Uh, 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 <laughs> and he he just looks dumbfounded at you for a second and goes. Uh, sure, you never played, girl. No. Must be luck, I suppose. Right. As uh, <laughs> 120 platinum comes to you, which is an additional 90 platinum. Good fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, Oh my gosh, how many does Let's she... see if your luck pops back up. And he pulls out a single gold and places it down. The rest of his companions places another gold down. Hold on, hold on, I gotta. I I just have notes where I just keep all my. Uh, I I believe I have at this point a little bit more than two hundred platinum. Yeah, you should have. You got fifty from the king, a hundred from Arthur, and then another ninety. You should have two hundred and forty. Holy heck! That's pretty much more money than most of the entire country here. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was basically like challenging a king to a battle and then shitting on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> so he places down gold as he's now intently watching you. You can tell let me perception check. <laughs> okay. You can tell he is eyeing you very wearily. Like, he, 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 want me a deception check real quick to see how believable is that you have never played poker before. 30, You're unflinching, but he is, um, very perceptive. <laughs> very perceptive. It's a third net 20, but. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's very perceptive as he stares at you and leans forwards. And, uh, he's like, ante up. As he, you know, gold's placed down, basically means place your money on the table. All of it? No, it's just the, uh, the gold he places down. You, you match the, um, the call. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Ante up. Avrin puts, Avrin puts the money on the table. <laughs> a little bit more than is asked. They match. And uh, he is eyeing you extremely wearily as all the cards have placed down once again. And, uh, yeah, roll me, a, roll me a wisdom save. I believe his one was... Uh... Wisdom save? Yeah. Wisdom or intelligence. Which one was out? Whichever one was higher. Wisdom. Jesus. All right, cool. So, you're welcome to make your choice of if you want to raise the thing higher or lower. But you can tell from that wisdom, you are you have got you got a very very good hand, not the best, but a very very good one. And he is eyeing you, like he doesn't trust anything that you're doing. Everyone mm -hmm. else there, uh, one folds immediately, and then three others stay in game. Hmm. It's Avarin, so. Let's phrase that thing. <laughs> Jesus. All right. How much are you going to raise it by? There's five gold from each person so far. 
Uh, Everyone puts a platinum on the table. Christ. Everyone follows. Uh, one person uh, bows out immediately. So there's five gold, ten. There's ten gold and four people, five gold and one platinum. I love that I can do this in my head just when I'm viewing. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, and so, again, he stares at you very mistrusting. Feel free to roll another deception check. Yeah. Wow, you don't beat that very nicely. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, it's landing on nat one. Good lord. <laughs> All right. Hold on. <laughs> so, feel free to tell me how you're deceiving him. He is... He's obviously distrusting you, but your deception is very high, and that perception was very low. So. Everyone is just, like, looking at the cards, and just, like, with a somewhat confused expression, and just, like, like putting on her fingers like she's trying to, like, count the like, count what the, they all add up to. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you very wearily, but he's like, <sighs> Okay. He reaches Ever. in, he, he oh, grabs... Oh, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Ever just, like, leans towards him and is like, Who's Jack? <sighs> I always wanted to Only know. Only deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a hard deception to beat. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. He looks at you he, and for a moment, for a single moment, he goes... Huh? And you see a glimmer of recognition flow through his eyes, and immediately, the other three fold. Uh, the other two fold their cards and back away from the table. And he reaches over and grabs a bag of coins and places out it down the table. A hundred platinum. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> I raise match. Everyone looks at that and it's just, uh, just like, uh, like, almost for a moment, just like, uh, a, a, almost a chill before she, she just looks at it and it's like, oh, that's almost as much as my Andy spatulas. Hi. She <laughs> takes that hundred platinum. <laughs> Both place it down and he looks at you and he goes, we're gonna play a new game. As the, uh, the, the, the money stays on the table, but the, um, the dealer, uh, grabs all the cards and throws the deck over his shoulder. <laughs> it pulls out a new deck, uh, completely untouched as he pulls out the, uh, pulls out, uh, undoes the, the seal, pulls out, shuffles it, and places it down. And he goes, One hand. If you're better than mine, you get my money. If my hand is better than yours... I own you. Well, that's weird. I <laughs> was <laughs> 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 just, just, just like not entirely sure what to make of it. Like gears are clicking. Just trying to figure out if this guy is gonna cheat or not. You you or see he, the dragonborn behind you slowly get closer <laughs> with a hand on his knife. No cheating. We're watching. I don't know how to cheat, mister. <laughs> uh, roll me perception. Oh my gosh. You're oh, about dang. to get shanked so hard. <laughs> you're, you're mm -hmm. fairly, you, you are... You're somewhat unsure if he's going to cheat or not, but you do you do see that the cards are being shuffled from the dealer before, and he he the dealer you had gotten a perfect hand earlier, and no one had said anything, so you're fairly confident that this dealer is a normal dealer, at least from your your experience. It won't be a history check. See so okay. experience with this. You're you're fairly because you've experience from the citadel or from uh well you from the slums uh but you also have some experience with um how the circle uh the the circle works um I I don't know what they're called were they called the ring Ellie I think they're called the ring yeah 
Yes. Okay, cool. So the you're fairly confident with how the ring works as a gambling institute based on how you've uh, handled in the Circadia be- uh, in um, the Citadel before and dealt with a lot of people who have walked back and forth between there and Tommy himself. <clears throat> if your dealer cheats, they die. <laughs> Usually by the goblins eating them. Goblins may be very. Goblins are very specific about one thing, one thing only. They may be greedy bastards, but if you cheat them, they will actually eat you. So there's no dealers in the, the circulate, to the best of your knowledge, who will cheat, because they like their limbs. <laughs> so even mm. with that perception, you can't see whether or not he's cheating on a uh, cheating, but you're fairly certain from your history, he's probably not. But you're also fairly certain from that history that the goblin standing in front of you would be willing to eat off your arm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. So, we're going to have to figure this out from Averin's perspective. How, how she would figure this out. So... <laughs> She's told that if she cheats, uh, she's probably going to die. Uh, <laughs> but she also knows that she can't afford to be owned or possibly eaten or whatever's going to happen if she loses this. <laughs> going to very carefully go about this. She may mm-hmm. cheat. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's look Are at what t- rolls you get. Uh, roll me a single Are- d20. Okay. And this cannot that's be affected deep, by deep. your auto succeed, by the way, in case Ellie was thinking of telling you to do that. <laughs> Watch me get in that one. Oh my Mother god! Motherfucker! I would never. See, she has it in the back. Why would I give her anything? the fourth fucking net 20 <laughs> in this goddamn scene. You know what that means, in- you're gonna have to figure out how to hype up the economy so that ever and actually has to spend some of that when she actually needs to. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so Thank God. you're sweating buckets. You you you're fairly confident that this goblin will actually eat you if you try to cheat. So the cards are placed face down in front of you, and the goblin crosses his arms and stares at you dead forward stare at you with a literal bag of money next to him while your cards are face down in front of you basically telling you to pick up your cards with his eyes and watching every movement you do (laughs) as you pick them up it is the perfect hand you is a royal straight flush in poker. That is the best hand possible. And so I'm huh. assuming you just carefully pick them up just like this. Yeah, I'm picking them up. Here you go. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he looks at you as you're picking them up. Um, and... Uh, he slowly picks up his, making the same movements you did. He is mimicking every move that you do. He slowly picks them up, and he goes, Play, as he flips his cards down. <laughs> <laughs> you flip them down, too, and he looks at you. Yeah. And for a moment, for a moment, the collective room turns around. <laughs> Every person in the room faces away. (laughs) The only times that you've ever heard people do this is when someone's about to die. And it's to make sure that no one out there's no witnesses to it. But as everyone, because the moment that he that he said play, everyone turned around, so no one knows what went down. So if he killed you, it would be off the record. But as he sees your cards, the moment there's a single moment. When you're fairly confident he he is going to kill you. There is a single bloodthirsty moment. 
and then it passes. By the way, you're sweating buckets. Throw me a constitution <laughs> Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> she's so convinced she's going to die. Now, I would have had you roll disadvantage on most of your checks so far, except because of the specific situation, uh, I'm not having you roll uh, disadvantage because your exhaustion is being cancelled out by pure and unbelievable driven fear. Hold on. Okay, so just regular roll? Yeah, just roll a uh, constitution. Okay. Uh, s- yeah. Mm. <laughs> you, you are, you're, you are now feeling your exhaustion. <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't play no more that you're like almost slumped over the table. You can feel the air get heavier as he looks at you, grabs his bag, Grabs the platinum and the five gold, shoves it into his bag and the other bits around the table, shoves them into the bag, walks over to you and places it down in front of you. Mind you, he's a goblin. So he is, uh, how big is a goblin? 5e goblin. Uh, he is, I believe, a small race, typically. Uh, about between three and four uh, feet. So he's about three foot five. So he walks up to you. He's clearly shorter than you. And uh, he then steps onto a stool to about get to about your height that someone places in front of him without, again, without looking at the table. It's just an instinctual response as he stares at you and he goes, mm. You played fair and square. Luck of the God is on your side. You're Thank either you. going to leave or you're going to work for us. Choose, girl. Uh, <laughs> I've kind of uh, got uh, my my um, own uh, group that uh, I should probably be getting back to, sir. Uh, then get the fuck out of my tavern. Hi. <laughs> 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 I could hear Ellie screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She takes takes uh-huh. some money. <laughs> just just like uh like backs away. Uh stumbling, but not out of feigned drunkenness. Uh yeah. Nah, you you could fe- this is worse than anything you've encountered. This is true. Honest to God, fear as the dragonborn steps away, uh, steps to the side. And even though the dragonborn is easily almost three times the height of this gnome, uh, this uh, goblin, you can also see the dragonborn sweating. <laughs> Dragonborns don't normally sweat. <laughs> as the dragonborn just kind of like nods at you. As you, as you leave, uh, before you leave, though, the the go- the goblin goes, "What's your name? You don't lie to me." My name, I go by Averin these days. Mm. We'll keep a near out for you. As he sits back back down at his table and like cracks his knuckles. He takes out his cigar and puts out as he watches you start walking up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so she's she's walking out of there. Yeah, both hands on her bag. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah, she, she walks, she goes out of there, and what is the adrenaline passed already or the adrenaline's long gone you are you are dead tired you feel like you just fucking walked another like six fucking miles and like fell down at someone's door and then got kicked in the side you don't feel good <laughs> you vaguely want to throw up at the moment yeah so she's gonna walk out of the tavern and just walk for a little for, oh, walk dude. for a while until she is fairly confident that there's no one around. Mm. Look around a little bit more. And then just like slump against a tree for a moment. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yeah. oh my god. 
Ah, you're very close to death, I'll be honest. Yeah. He started, uh... He started seeing through you just a little bit, and, um... He was not happy about that. Yeah. I'll be right back. Ellie just got me food, so hold on just a moment. <laughs> uh, enjoy relaxing at the knowledge that you've passed the death moment. Yeah, to I'll be right back. To the love of God, Sin, please stop dropping in potential instant death in these. <laughs> That's okay. the fun part. I, Aaron, I think, almost had a heart attack or something. Oh, gosh. Uh, also, uh, on an unrelated note, what does everyone think? Mm. I just posted um, something in the casual chat. Uh, oh. Adorable. Oh, look at that. Boopy eyes. Boopy eyes. Yeah. One of these days, I need to actually learn how to draw a uh, human in... Uh, human parts because for some strange reason cartoony animals are easy yeah it's because they're right. fun i am back that and the uncanny valley is really is just kind of a huge jerk yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah just, so you're just thoroughly exhausted <laughs> full on yeah she just like slumps against the tree and then like flipping slides down and so she's fully sitting down on the ground and then, like, take a moment, look up at the sky, then do the most comforting thing she knows. Count her money! <laughs> Just a solid moment. Uh, <laughs> so you got another hundred platinum, which is one of the reasons why he was so, very much so intent on killing you at that moment. Yeah. Uh, it's just taking comfort in the fact that she's probably the richest person in the country. Probably at this point, yeah. Yeah, and you nearly died for that money. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no happier death she knows. Fair. Um, yeah, so the day kind of passes by while you count your money slash probably starts heading home once you have stable legs. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much an entire day goes by as I'm, I doubt you're running back home so like almost uh, the rest of that day goes by the next day fully goes by and uh, you're heading home during this pretty much entire day that that passed by for you just walking um, uh, Arthur is going to walk up to um, the, the group at this point uh, it's been a full night's rest and a little bit longer for Bill um, you're 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 mostly off the shrooms. Uh, roll me a constitution save if you would. Oh no. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, you're 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 mostly off the shrooms. Um things are still weird color. And if anyone looks into your eyes, they're still flowing with random colors. Um you are still loopy, but you're not in a different plane of existence. By the way, yes, your mind literally crossed planes that day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But you're you're back into your own original plane now. It's just um <laughs> He wasn't figuratively climbing, he was literally climbing a mountain and Ellie was affecting him through the dimensions. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> but uh you get Transport back to your own mind. Uh, not much sleep was had in your brain space. Um, but you're now back into your own world, and the druid sits up as you, you regain some manner of consciousness, and he looks at you and he's like, Why, hello there! I taste the color purple. I do that sometimes. And a hint of margarine. Well, I haven't had that What one. plane of ex... What plane of existence am I on now? Ah, uh, ours, I think. I lived! <laughs> Ellie, that's the first thing you fucking hear as you wake up. Ellie is going to make a dex save. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have no idea what kind of adventure Bill's been on. <laughs> He has traveled, let me tell you. That's a dirty 20. So, Ellie was still kind of in between rooms, but she's more leaning against 
um, Jackson's door frame. Just mm-hmm. being guard for both. And she tries to shoot up and turn as fast as she can to Bill. And Jack's on him. It's like, what happened? Are you dying? Was there another explosion? Ollie! <laughs> I'm right here. The droid looks at you and he's like, Our little friend here traveled planes of existences, climbed mountains, saw uh, probably something, and maybe ate more shrooms in the other world. I don't know what he ate. I don't know if you can eat so, in that also, uh Also, uh, so as part of this uh, long rest, I'm going to remove the preparation on heat metal and reset up identify. Okie dokie. So, uh, I, I am back in our reality, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Can you eat well, mushrooms? You he pulls out mushroom. <laughs> mm. Um, before I... you do that, I'd like to make sure that there's no lasting damage from the last one you who downed last yesterday. I met a dragon. Oh, His he's name gonna is help. Jimmy. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely checking you out right now. Yeah. He, uh, he didn't appreciate that I kept calling him Tim, the tool man Taylor. He said he doesn't know what a tool man is, and he said, I don't know who Taylor is. I believe his real name was like Bandersnatch or something weird like that, so I just called him Timmy. Fascinating. Yeah, climbing his mountain took forever. I fell at one point. The weird part was something grabbed me while I was falling and like lowered me down. Can I medicine check him? Oh, that yeah. was me. Also, I'm helping with that medicine check. <laughs> All right, then. I'll roll with advantage then. Um, yeah, that was so me. Was you were climbing, but no, 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 yeah. no. Because after that, I went to the astral plane. That was fun. Um, wasn't there a button for yeah. rolling with advantage? I cannot find. Uh, it. yeah, you click the um, they click the name. And they ask you if oh. you want to roll with advantage. Yeah, I'm bad. You're good. <laughs> Did you know that stars Thank are? Thank God for that advantage. What is that, Bill? Did you know that stars are hot? <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. A he looks hot. better now. It Do- doesn't look like he has any more lasting damage than he started with. Um, his eyes are very funky colors at the moment. They keep shifting. And it keeps swimming. And rainbows keep sliding along his eyes. So I'm just going to still stay. I'm still just going to keep giving him a was slightly a serious, unamused look. And then I'm just going to go mix up my... I'm going to start mixing up the diagnosis uh, spell components. Yeah. <laughs> Great, you, know, the... you have annoyed the doctor. I didn't think that was possible. No, oh, not annoyed, just not convinced. And see, he's as healthy as he seems to think he is right now. No, ah. I, I mean, you all are weird colors, but I at least... Am... <laughs> look, you... you but... Doc, you don't understand. I was on a journey. I am grounded currently. This is I feel wonderful right now. Every time I come back this... from a mushroom journey, I feel fantastic. I'm starting to think these mushrooms are poisonous. Maybe I should just give both of you to a lesser cure all right now. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to. <laughs> Just, like, just as there. long as Jackson's not given any, we're good. No one will die today. What's the problem with him getting the lesser cure-all? It just cleans out his system. No, I was meaning the mushrooms. Oh. These are, are pretty costly, so I'd rather not, not use, use too many of these. Please go a light on an additional questionable foods. Uh, I'm going to cast Lesser Restoration on both of them. Okay. <laughs> the, uh... As, hmm? as you do that, all Bill heard was, ask Jackson if he wants to get high. <laughs> and, oh, and, no! that's, and that, all you, like, as soon as Ellie finishes that and you cast Lesser Restoration, as you're casting it, just Bill, at the top of his lungs, hey, Jackson, you want to get high off shrooms with me? <laughs> Ellie is so fast gonna shut your mouth. <laughs> you want to cast? Like, stop um, talking! Stop talking! Stop talking! Go sleep! Go sleep! Go restoration. sleep! Right. Sorry, didn't didn't actually roll that. 
Um, you you hear from the other room. I don't fuck or eat mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you feel much okay. better now. Did they stop being colors? Ooh, hey, you're not pink anymore. <laughs> pink? Yeah. You were kind of... You were flashing between pink, green, blue, red, yellow, green, blue, red, yellow, green, blue, red, pink, 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 blue, green, green red, yellow. And then Doc was like disco colors. Oh, Paylor. Goodness. Okay. Those are hallucinogenics, well, weren't they? Probably. Pretty sure. Whatever a hallucinogenic is. I see different universes with mushrooms. I'll just say they're not healthy. Neither is alcohol, but I still drink it. Oh, <laughs> Less yeah, healthy than alcohol. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I dance on mountaintops with my friends. They're called mushroom friends. Okay, you know, I'm half tempted to start running one last exam. I'm half tempted to start running more examinations on you two. For the love of God, do not give me any reason to believe that, that you need more. I'm perfectly good. He pulls out two more mushrooms. This is Bob and Frank. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pull out a to Doc and be like, "Would it be bad to lock them in here?" You can't lock me in a room. You both know you can't. I'm just gonna I pull... can try. I'm just gonna pull you out a glass. Fail. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna pull out my glass bowl, toss a fire, toss a lit fire pellet in there, and then just start thaumaturgy changing the colors. Just like, hey, tell, tell me what, what it is right now. Just like showing us each of them. Only just, allowed like, to blue leave and yellow. You tell them what the color is. Oh, that's blue, that's yellow. This is Bob and this is Frank. Well, despite all things, he's not high. Elliot tells all I haven't been high in... I can't tell anymore. Uh, well, <laughs> Elliot's just gonna walk out of the room. <laughs> just be, like, awkward. <laughs> She's gonna check on Jackson. <laughs> I get high with a little help from my friends. I get by with a little help from my friends. We now I do have high. this fun one. He pulls out a weird, it looks almost like a stick, but meaty texture. And it's very yellow. I do have this one. I found this one a few years ago. I found it inside of a, uh, I think it was a forest. It could be a forest. It could be on top of a tree. Or it could be inside the tree. I think it was eating the tree, actually. This is a e tree eating mushroom. Yes. Now, it says its name is Bob. What is that? It's a mushroom. Nate, can its I need your Bob. jacket? You're welcome to. <laughs> It's definitely a mushroom. It's not a I'm mushroom you've ever seen. That. That's a seventeen it, now. Yeah, it's it's you you've only really heard of these mushrooms before. You're not really sure where they come from exactly. They're all over the um the 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 uh, um oh my god the continent. That's the word. Uh, they're all over the continent. You're not really yeah. sure where they come from. You're not really sure how exactly they function but basically the idea is that when the mushroom forest or whatever grows upwards latches onto a tree goes all the way up usually in um helios and then starts feeding off of the top layer of the tree for all the the sunlight nutrients and stuff while also being inside of the tree they turn into this weird ass mushroom thing and then if someone is stupid enough to go and get the mushroom, it has some seriously weird effects. Is Most it of them involve or through actual consumption. Uh usually through consumption. But they are naturally inside of a tree at nearly the top of the tree of Helios. So they're very hard to get. Although they do basically have uh, the all the nutrients from the sun, so they, they do in fact give you pretty much a uh, full like day's worth of nutrients and does actively heal your body a bit. But you've also heard rumors that because it is so much sun into it, it's developed an ability to essentially be like fire going inside of your uh, uh, 
mouth and stomach. So some people like call it the, a really good alcohol drink. Yeah, some people call it the fire root, which is funny because it's not a root and it's not made of fire and it's a mushroom. <laughs> Be careful with fire roots. They're not exactly the safest thing to carry with you. How is that what this is called? I called it Bob because it started telling me its name was Bob. It wanted to be free from the sun. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. They have medicinal benefits, but if you try and actually use it like that, you're going to feel like the inside of your body is literally on fire. Fascinating. Bird friend creature thing. You want to taste? Uh, I would not recommend that. Oh. Okay. He puts it back into his bag. <laughs> so I was told I could avoid the Fae here. So far, it's been true. Do you normally avoid the Fae with fire? I can't say I know much about the Fae in general. Hmm. Cool. Uh... After a few moments, uh, you guys once again hear the telltale sound of armor clanking as the door slowly opens, and Arthur doesn't bother to try to do a pose this time. He just stands in front of the door, and he just goes, Good morning. Ah, welcome back, Arthur. How Good morning! Hmm? How goes the patrol? It goes well. I got a few things, um told me the other day about uh, some potential dangers lying over the hill, um, probably a day or two journey away, uh, so I need to go check on that, uh, unfortunately. So I was ask I wonder if I could ask you folks to um, uh, stay here for about another week or so, so I can go check up on that, make sure everything's fine, still have plenty of forces here. Unfortunately, we don't really have what you would call fighters in this town. Why not we have folks who can use a pitchfork. Instead. Hmm? Why not just send us instead? I suppose I could. Hmm. It'd be easier. I was planning to stay in the general area anyway. Need to harvest some more materials and potions. Running a bit lower than I'd like right now. Yeah. If we're the ones to check it out, then you can grab those easier. I suppose so, but... <laughs> kind of slowly <laughs> nods his head. I hadn't thought of that before. Huh. Is that what it's like dealing man. with people who fight? Weird. I don't fight. Oh. I stab. I'm just sitting here sweating, remembering I just this burned two, <laughs> two of my third, or two of my three second level slots. Arthur looks kind of confused at you when you say don't fight. He's, not, he's just like, Stretch! <laughs> he looks kind of... Oh boy, stretching is fun. I get high. Cracked my back, sorry. <clears throat> but he looks at you kind of confused, so he's like, um... Don't, don't, don't you have to fight the stab? No. Well, I mean, I use a fry pan, unless I'm... I'm really angry. Then I use Jackson's dagger. We don't really kill people. You don't kill people. <laughs> I, I know what survival don't. is. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just sitting here sweating, remembering half of my, my tools can basically be he, compared to an oversized match tip that you throw at people. <laughs> he kind of like looks at your team for a second. He just goes, Yeah, all right. Um,. Personally, I, w I would prefer to. I, mean, I could go with you. That works. We are a headshirt. Aren't? Which reminds me, uh, have I you mean... seen Avarin? She vanished. Avarin, she vanished yesterday, and we haven't seen her since. Nope. Didn't realize she was missing. I suppose we should Great. wait a, a day then. Do you know when she might come back? I wish. Uh, well, she left yesterday to get us herbs and such for potions and other things, but she hasn't come back, and I tried doing a sending stone message, but 
she didn't exactly reply with a location and how she's doing, so. Ah, so she, okay. Have you tried to ask her again? I mean, I guess I could. I was going to use it to update Rowena on our location, but I could I thought you check had to see where. Wait, did we have two? One with yes, Ali and one with Alma. Two. Yeah. Wait, I have one? I don't remember having yes. one. I gave you one just in case you and I ever got separated, which is very, like, a 2% chance that we're ever separated, <laughs> but, you know. Has Just happened. Holy, holy crap, I need to add this to my inventory because I did not, because I missed that part. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, you have a sending stone and so do I. So, um, yeah. I could, yeah, I'll, so, I'll shoot her a message. Same one as yesterday. <laughs> Checking if she's alive, where she's at, when is she coming back, and a couple other things that, yeah. Nice. Uh, so that's the message to Avarin, yeah? yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Avarin receives that, and she she sends back. Ali sounds uh, a little more angry this time, and like angry <laughs> mom mode. Like, where are you? Are you alive? <laughs> like, it sounds like she might kill you. So, uh, just so you know. Coming back now, uh, basically Avarin just says that she's she's coming back soon. Uh, she almost died, but she's better now, uh, <laughs> and she's super rich. <laughs> Jackson, I need you to hold me back as soon as she gets here. Uh, I can try. No, you're, I'm pretty sure you're stronger than me. It's fine. I just, just apparently she is on her way back. She almost died, but didn't. And she's coming back richer than she was before. Huh. And I don't know if you remember, but Grumble had a ring under the bar. Where people tend to make a whole lot of money or be killed. I remember those. There's a goblin down there. He's a very unpleasant fellow. He used to go on missions yeah. uh, around the area, sometimes to Circadia. Very unpleasant fellow. He liked to eat people who lost or who cheated Ex on. Excuse me? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Goblins yeah. tend to eat people who, who lose or that they deem cheaters. In fact, that's the most common way that uh, the uh, Circadia tends to deal with people who uh, owe them lots of money is that they send a bunch of goblins after them, and then shockingly, they, they don't owe them any money anymore. That's a good Usually thing. Usually by ripping off their legs. Great. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like she's richer than she was before, so she probably won. Yeah, but winning is not goblin... typically a good thing either. It depends well, on how much okay. she won. True. <laughs> he In other might words, come and take revenge at some point on her. No, they don't typically take revenge if you win a lot. They uh, blacklist you, and then they usually send bounty hunters after you, just in case that you are a specialized person. And then oftentimes they make a particularly big deal about who you are, so that people know where you are. And uh, then you get uh, usually marked by higher-ups, and then they usually try to recruit you or send people to kill you. It's a whole business. Are we going to have to kill a goblin? Possibly. <laughs> I met him a couple times. But again, so it depends on usually... how much she made. You know, a couple of gold, yeah. no one's really going to care. You get, like, a platinum in there, no one's going. You know, it, they might care about platinum, you know. Platinums are pretty nice. Bill's going to look at the group blank faced. We're going to have to kill Goblin. <laughs> yeah, because considering I don't exactly know how much she made off of me. Sorry, hon. <laughs> And a lot of money. 
Considering I am lovely sick. Arthur here gave her a lovely donation of a lot of plat. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're probably oh. gonna end up killing a goblin. Oh, by the way, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Arthur, mm -hmm. hey, uh... Uh -huh. Bill looks at Jackson Blink. Jack... Jackson. Here, uh, here. A platinum. Or Jack each. Jack. Yeah. Just Bill hands them both a platinum. Arthur, like, looks at you as he, he grabs the platinum and is like, No, thanks, Bill. You sure you don't need it? Oh, I'm positive I don't deserve it. <laughs> well, I think you're a pretty good fellow, and for being a fairly good fellow, I will pay you one platinum for your services of being a good bard, as he hands you back the Oh platinum. my gosh. He sits there and looks <laughs> at it, looks at Ellie, puts it in his thing, walks over to Ellie, and just... And just like taps on her to like bend down. Ellie will. He he does realize I'm a bard, and that I'm able to mess with fights without anyone realizing it. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, he should. Bill looks at Ellie and just hands her the platinum instead. I don't deserve. <laughs> we both know where where my mindset is going there. I definitely don't deserve this platinum right now. <laughs> It's okay. Um, I'll just drop it in his bag or something later. Cool. He usually works with Jackson or Grampy or Grumble. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so Arthur like, looks at the group. Telling Ellie that he rigged the fight. <laughs> <laughs> He's not smart. Oh, God. Yeah, Arthur looks at Grumpy. He's like, well, if she'll be back soon, then uh, get your preparations in order. And uh, we'll leave after she gets some rest. I got a few things to uh, make sure work. Jackson, get your ass out of bed. I don't care if you have a headache. I'll beat the crap out of you with make that headache go away. Jackson's like, uh, you're so no, mean to me. Cool. He's like, I'm no. not mean to you. Ellie's glaring at Arthur. Beating the crap out of people fighting. causes them to not have headaches anymore. No. Alcohol yeah. does that. All right, fine. I'll get him drunk and then have him do, do stuff around. No, there. not without me around. Okay. Do you want to know how he's feeling right now? We can go toe to toe again. If I remember correctly, you couldn't hit me. <laughs> and I have a friendly reminder that I did actually hit you. Would you like a reminder? You also have two bruises on your spine about when I hit you. I, it that sounds like you want a friendly reminder that I did hit you. Pretty good. And you got a pretty good bruise on your head. He shrugs. I've been hit by worse. Did I tell you about the bear? Yes, you did. Ah. Well, come with me to the tavern and we'll talk more about the bear as he turns around and starts walking. <laughs> Jackson sighs as he stands up. Uh, uh, uh. You're not leaving this household till you get a checkup from Doctor and I. Doc, am I good to go? Let me Ellie check. glares at Ollie. <laughs> Let me check. Medicine check? Uh -huh. I assume. Of course, I'm probably going to add Flash of Genius to this. You two can both tell he's in pretty much perfect health at the moment, aside from the various quantities of bruises all over his body, and the fact that he's probably still nursing a pretty nasty concussion or headache. Um, and ego. Hmm? And his ego. And ego wound. Uh, but aside from that, he, he seems to be in pretty much perfect health. He seems to recover fairly quickly. Um... And it helps that she didn't hit him with anything that was stabby. She just bruised most of his body and several of his muscles and several of his bones are bruised too. But okay, okay, you know, <laughs> you okay. beat him pretty fucking hard. <laughs> but he does Careful. seem to be in fairly good health. Careful about the a minor. Your lingering injuries are very, very minimal. You look healthy enough to get up in my, my boat, but it'd still feel better if you carried around on something else. Fortunately, unfortunately, I can't give you a splat out health potion, but may, maybe this will prove useful in place. I'm going to give him the experimental elixir. 
Hey. Only, only has a shelf life for the rest of the day. And here's a list of the potential things it could, could do. Hand of the D, the six, six list. Oh, okay. So oh, no. that's a bold, that's a boldness potion. It's at, at a D4 to all attack rolls and saving throws to the next minute after he downs hey. it. Nice. He's oh, going to no. down it. He's going to look at it. He's going to go. Cool. And he's going to kiss Ellie and walk out. <laughs> oh, <my> gosh. <laughs> oh, that's glorious. <laughs> Ellie is floored. <laughs> She's out. I'm on fire. Uh, I lose one. I'm patient and get another. Just slowly tries to pick her up and put her on the bed. Oh, this is beautiful. She fucking dead weights all the way to the bed. <laughs> oh, Recovery gosh. will be slow. <laughs> Ah, oh, beautiful. Romance. <laughs> She's making so many noises. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Boldness for the wind, yo. Oh, boy. It's very hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know what the worst part is? What was that? That only lasts for a minute. Boldness only lasts for a minute after you drink the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's not coming back to that house for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna avoiding. get. He's gonna like get to the edge of like. He's gonna step outside the door and just like sit there and like hands on hips, like proud. And in his head, all you're gonna hear is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that that's oh all you're gonna gosh. hear in his head. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. <clears throat> and that's for yesterday. <laughs> but right, yeah, so uh he fuck yeah, he just fucks right off. Um so you guys have probably about maybe half a day or so before Avern gets gets back because uh, she had to sleep and she's also walking wall um tired as hell. Uh, mostly scared out of her mind, but slow walking. Um So yeah, do y'all what what do y'all do for the next like probably a couple of hours before she gets back. You know, here's a weird thing. Mm, oh, sorry. Ellie's out. <laughs> you go, Ollie. You got this. Dang, the worst. The only thing I could say I was going to do is use the alchemy jug, but I'm currently debating if I want to use it to create acid or oil. I'm getting more <laughs> bread. <laughs> oh... So you go into the bread shop, and uh, two folks I, still there, and they go, oh, "The bread fairy. What can we do for you, bread fairy man? Are you liking your bread?" Uh, I am, I am loving the bread, but I need more. Need more bread. We have prepared a special, a special bread just for you, bread fairy. This bread was made. Jesus, <laughs> this bread was made yesterday by my lovely wife. Again, I apologize. As he reaches over and grabs a basket and hands it to you, uh, as his, uh, it, that, that bread looks nice. But his wife comes in with another piece of bread. It's a, it's a French baguette, but just like the other one had before. She's like, I tried my hardest, and hands it to you. Um, as, I assume you just grab it? Yeah, I take it and I leave. I don't, <laughs> I take it, I leave, I thank them for the bread, and... I say something encouraging and continue on. And I just walk back and I just watch Ollie work while I'm eating the bread. Nice. The bread that she gave you, uh, floppy and moist is the only way I can describe it. It yeah, was a I very... Bread, I don't think I care much. Honestly, probably not. To be frank, I'm very impressed by, by Bill's ability to eat that bread. Again, he is a but, bird. Yeah. So you just watch him for a while. Avrin, you slowly come back. Uh, you're tired. Um, you've been walking for quite a few hours. You slept in the woods. It's not an experience you're unused to, but the fact that you had to sleep in the sun was... Or not sun, but sunlight. Was uh, uncomfortable, to say the least. 
And you're welcome to do um, some unstable um, alchemy. Hopefully you don't explode the <laughs> fucking room again. <laughs> um, <laughs> feel free to do the uh, unstable alchemy roll if you'd like. That's a 12. Nice. Don't mind what so that does. The, uh, so that's a random potion up from the list of 1 to 100, I believe. Okay. Okay. So I do not get to define what it is, and I do not get to learn how I did this. Nice. Uh, I will look at it so I can see what it does. Hold on just a moment. Uh, feel free to roll 1d100. You know, I thought for a moment, though, and it was like, I oh, ever, and you come back, you're pretty tired, and stuff. It's like, feel free to do some unstable alchemy, and like, to, to me? <laughs> what? Sorry? Uh, um. <laughs> Walks in. <laughs> So I got potion number thirteen on the list. Ooh. Okay, cool. Uh, it it's weirdly uh, rainbowy. I'm gonna identify that. I'm gonna ritual cast identify on this thing. Nice. So I see a couple of minutes. Uh, you can tell that is a potion of change of skin color. <laughs> it's very rainbowy. Um, <laughs> it does take your spell slot, but Avron, you finally get oh, back no, no, into. No. I ritual cast that. It doesn't cost me a spell slot. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, never mind then. Uh, but yeah, so it changes your skin color. It's just, just really funny to me. I'm just going to look at it. It's just like, oh, at the very least, I might be able to use this to pass as a human. Yeah. Get a hat for, on. For the there you go. For the one day shelf life this thing has. <laughs> just putting it away. Yeah, so when you get back to the town, uh, Arthur, you see him walk into the bar, uh, which honestly is a fairly common sight for you at this point. Uh, and yeah, you can, you're fairly certain your friends would be inside of the house that you all have. That you've been to once. <laughs> good, good, uh, good afternoon, Arthur. He nods to you. Hello, your friends were looking for you a couple hours ago. I can imagine. At least probably rather mad at me. Hold on, I must get on my most charming persona. <laughs> Sucks her hair back. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Thank you. Uh, she swings open the door. Good, good afternoon, I'm home. See oh, Ellie basically you. comatose on the bed. Oh, thanks, Halar. <laughs> Red from ear to ear, just out. Oh, it's been a couple hours, but yeah. Is she dead? No, but she did definitely get one heck of a scare from Jackson. Though did I he think... propose? <laughs> Not yet. I think I'll let her, her tell the tale if she feels up to it when she wakes up. Mm. Gives me time to prepare for the oncoming storm when she realizes I'm home. Wait. <laughs> yeah, she Wait. starts to wake up. Um, Ellie, wake up. It's Jackson. He's in trouble. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> the fuckery out of you and she shoots up and readies her pan and starts for the door. And Bill's not. Bill just looks at the other two and just the silent. Don't say anything. Christ. <laughs> just unnerved watching her leave the Is room. Is no one going to stop her? No. <laughs> By Everyone, golly, <laughs> Everyone crosses her arms and smirks. <laughs> so, Good God. I mean, I would if not for the fact, well, fact that when she's that determined, I, I know oh, that you don't stop someone with that level of determination. I've learned that lesson the hard way, just rubbing in the side of his face. Oh my See, God. Now she's not going to be mad. You should be mad at me, and I have no fear of any one of you, honestly. You're all very relatively tame in comparison. Oh, uh, the <laughs> Well, on an unrelated note, in the off chance anybody cares, I, as I actually did manage to make, make a potion through unstable alchemy this time. Mm. I'm oh, just nice. gesturing to the rainbow potion on the table. Everin looks, Everin looks at it for a moment, like a uh, flipping in, like mm -hmm. intrigued. Is it lethal? <laughs> no, I'm fairly certain you'd find it boring. Oh, what's it do? It changes the skin tone of whoever drinks it. Has a shelf life of a day. Could be fairly useful for disguise or 
escaping notice? Perhaps, but I can't fancy myself not finding much use in this thing. This town is pretty open to pretty much all races, so no real well, need to try and make myself look like a human if that's a concern. Well, theoretically, I mean, if someone was theoretically, like, tailing you or something, all you have to do is like, enter a room as they're attempting to stalk you, drink the potion, style your hair out differently, walk out, and suddenly you're a different person. I suppose, but I don't think we have any enemies of concern in this town at the moment. Ah, uh, fair. If it's of interest to you, though, you're free you to take it. Just remember, it's not going to be usable tomorrow. Ah. Uh, eh, sure, why not? Fuck, that's it, just in case. So you hear, you hear Ellie pop open the door, walk out, a couple minutes pass. Uh, she, you hear the door open again. She walks back in, realizing, yeah, no, there's there's no fighting outside. No one seems to be in trouble. She caught eyes with Jackson for about two seconds for having it just rushed back home. so fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slams open the door. <laughs> okay. He's fine. I, yeah. Anyway. Uh, there's no danger. No. That, I'm it was just funny to watch you run. <laughs> uh, Bird, I will cook you. If you cook me, at least make sure that I'm plenty alcoholic. Duly noted. Um, can we please not debate killing each other? I'm not going to kill Ellie. I have no reason to. You think she can catch me if I run? Oh. I'm certain okay. she'll find a way. I mean, to be fair, can you fit in a crack that's one inch? No, but I also don't, don't have a reason to try. There. Oh, that means you'll fit on my flying arrow I got from Ruina. Yeah. We still need to try that. But that's really. You could fly for once. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron kind of. Anyway. Like, like steps backwards, attempting to escape notice. <laughs> you did not escape notice at all. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, and even rolled stealth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just for the fun of it. Yeah. Ah. I may as well. Uh, also, There's I'm gonna flash of little G. Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to have a flash of genius Ellie if Afrin's actually going to try and escape. Uh, wow. Well, so, no. Ellie's is 23. Mm -hmm. Good mm. lord. So, yeah, you see, yeah. You, you, you very easily see her as she's slowly stepping backwards, attempting desperately to stay out of your line of sight, and doesn't in the slightest. Good afternoon. Uh, Hi, ah. Mom. Welcome home. So I have money. <laughs> yeah, but who's coming to kill you? Hmm. Um. Uh, none as of yet. There might be a. Mm. Well, the goblin did say he was going to keep an ear out for me, but that will probably be fine. Um. That doesn't Great. sound like a good. That doesn't sound like good news. If one, I believe it was. Arthur that gave us that information, or was it Jackson? Can't Jackson. Remember. That doesn't yeah. sound good, given the information Jackson mm -hmm. told us about the situation. Um, how much did you make? Uh, <laughs> Everin, like, smugly pulls out the back to show off the money. 100 platinum. I didn't oh. even cheat. Fuck. Oh, uh, I was 100 platinum And Ellie will of, hit her uh... face with her fry pan. You you made two hundred and twenty platinum, Avery. Actually, two hundred platinum. Oh, Wait, hold on. up. How much platinum do I have now? Actually, okay. Uh, so four hundred and seventy. Good. I'll get I'll get to work on oil immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to prep a sanctuary. I was right though. Oh yep. You 100% were, but now we have to tell Arthur Jackson that she has a 
flesh-eating goblin and friends whine <laughs> her guts. Yeah. They let me live. Like, for now. They had Literally, a perfect opportunity if... to kill me. Okay, but with the ring, if you win an X amount of platinum, they will send bounty hunters after you to make sure you're killed. Huh. I mean, it's uh, not like losing easily. Rodeo. Well, it's not my first rodeo with uh, people after my blood, but then again, it is my first it, first time with people that I probably won't ditch to save my own life. So, <laughs> weird. Do you think we can poison them? Where did you go? Hmm? Most oh. goblins are immune to poison because they, they practice. They drink literal poison to make sure they can't be poisoned because of people like you. Uh, I'm clever. Ollie's just going to rub a hand across the alchemy jug and create eight eight vials worth of oil. Nice. <laughs> well, after I asked Arthur where the seediest places in town, the seediest places in town were, Arthur, and he said there were... let you leave. I asked him where the gambling rings were, and he directed me to that forest over there. And then I went. And I made a lot of money. Now we can buy anything our heart desires. I'm probably the richest person in the country right now. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. We are so okay. freaking screwed. Wow. I, I think we'll be safest in this town and staying in town. Until Rowena catches up with us or something. I don't know. Well, All right. Uh... Um. Well, okay. For one, <laughs> you're grounded because you left for Littlefoot Forest, well, Grumble's Tavern, without me. You wanted to gamble? <laughs> no, I wanted to see Grumble. I grew up there. I spent most of my life in that tavern. Hmm. You probably wouldn't have let me gamble. <laughs> Honestly, probably true. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. And two, yeah. you did you at least come back with the stuff that we needed? I came back with the stuff that I that uh, the doctor requested of me. Yes. Well, you're um. grounded for at least a day then. <laughs> mm. I guess. I guess since she brings it up, um, how many? Yeah, how much? Enough. How many uh, potions would worth of uh, regents did she just bring? Probably four potions worth. Right. Nice. Well, just grab the one you guys decide a choice. <laughs> I'm gonna go make more money so that I can afford things. <laughs> <laughs> you do yeah, that, yeah. I'm just going, going to see about flammable grease and oil because lord knows we're going to need all the help we can get here. Oh, 100%. Now, excuse me while I look up yeah. how, how much damage a vial of burning oil will do heals. <laughs> so after that, um, you hear Arthur kind of walk into uh, the, the the room again. He like opens the door. He's like, ah, good. You all here. I was hoping everyone would actually be able to see you. Uh, now that she's here, um, Avery, how are you Real feeling? Quick, do you need rest? Ellie's gonna do a thing. Okay. Uh. Okay, so. Oh, a pint. How Sorry. how how rested did Avery get from the occasional naps she probably took on the walk? Uh, considering you uh walked instead of ran that last bit, you are in tip-top shape. Hmm. I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. Also, Bill is heading out early because he needs to get some sleep, I assume. Ah, uh, fair. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gold bell. <laughs> 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 Fucking owl. <laughs> this uh. is for allowing her to leave without informing us. Ooh. Now she's going to be hunted by a goblin because of uh. you. Well... To be fair. Don't to be fair me. She didn't tell me where she was going. 
did she ask you where to go? Because she told us that she asked you where she should go to make money. Well, yeah. But she didn't tell me she was going there. I asked him where the seediest places <laughs> happen to be. Yeah. You could have at least let us know that, oh, hey, this is what she told me. <laughs> He's like, okay, that means she did actually go there because she sticks with her word, usually. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> we should have been told something. Now, I feared you had gotten a message from her because you said you got a message from her. I told you what she said, that she didn't tell me anything. Wow. I told you that I was... What, what the that you were shows? alive? <laughs> That's that, it. I, that I was in fact alive. Yes. That you could have been alive in Cataclysm. And I would be alive! Exactly! <laughs> you were alive making bets with a goblin that's known for eating people and sending bounties on them. I've made riskier bets. Oh, the guy, like, looks at you with a raised eyebrow. Just staring blankly anyway. at her. And remind me tomorrow oh, that next I need to prepare a rope trick. Because <laughs> if they're actually coming hunting for us, then we're, we're going to an entire pocket dimension if we have to. Yeah, that's going right. Goodness. Right. Well, anyways, while I was asking your party here uh, before they, um hit me <laughs> was that uh, I need to go to check up on a um, something my scouts told me about it's a couple days journey and uh, need to check up on make sure that's not an actual threat that's going to be appearing uh, they, they've been kind of wandering around for a little bit now uh, but you know nothing's already been done so far just want to make sure that it's not going to get worse so I want your group well your group wanted to join me on the adventure. I want your group to stay here, but Allie, or Bill, actually, suggested that you all come with me. And, yeah, you know, I, I think that might be a good plan. Oh, I'd love to, but Ellie grounded me. Ah. He looks at Ellie. If they've been tracking you down, okay. I don't think here is safe either. She, her safest spot would be with us, I guess. You are ungrounded, but at least stay in my sights or tell me where you're going. I'm what? so sick of people leaving me. Well, I can try. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that's settled then. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, he kind of walks in and sits down in front of uh, probably the table that's in the room and pulls out a map and places it on the ground, uh, on the, the table. He looks shockingly big inside the room compared to the table. He's like, all right. So, <clears throat> who here knows of the Dragonborn? In uh, Everin. Everin mm -hmm. raised her hand. It raises her hand. One of them was at the betting table with me. I won. Was he green? Was he? No, he was red. He was red. Oh, good. Okay. That's not a problem, then. Um, is there a problem about the color? So, before this town became a town, well, I should say, before this town was taken over by an evil goddess that was intent on uh, making everything equal, and then the goddess died horribly and painfully, uh, to my best of my knowledge, the person she attacked was liquefied and then killed her. So, that was probably an odd day for her. Anyways, Liquefied. uh... Excuse me? Yeah, I was told at some point that the person who attacked the goddess okay. was liquefied. And then he got back up. Well, yeah, What does that's a green Ezekiel. dragonborn have to do with this? Ah, oh, no, this is Ezekiel's before. Ezekiel's the one that fought her while we were attacking the church. He gently pats your head. Impressive work. Anyway, so before that, before the town was, uh infected by the plague of the cult uh it was attacked by dragonborn 
I know, a lot of bad incidents happened to this town. It's shocking. They were attacked by a band of dragonborn, specifically green dragonborn, uh, heralded by, or not herald, heralded by? Headed by? Headed by a uh, dragonborn who pronounced itself the, uh, hold on. Do, 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 gotta find the right name. Uh, uh, dragonborn of Tiamat. And, uh, essentially it was leading its, uh, group on a, uh, attack against other dragonborns and anything it could find that wielded a worthy challenge. Ellie, you would remember this from the book that, uh, you had, same with Oliver, um, the young lady's diary, <coughs> the one who killed herself, um, in the, the, uh, cabin so long ago, um, that was the battle that her father died in, which then prompted most of the, uh, the cult. Um, but yeah, so Arthur's like, inside that battle, it was this group of green dragonborns headed by this dragonborn of Tiamat, uh, which I believe was also green, but rumors, uh, say differently on that. And they attack pretty much any village or any town, uh, that seems like it has any form of a challenge to it or if they can get any substantial money from it. Depends on the day. And, uh, they've been wandering around the town lately, uh, a couple of days uh, away, but they've been keeping an eye on the town, and so I've had my scouts look at them for a while, and, uh, we're not entirely sure if they're going to attack our town, so I'm planning on going to meet them, and, uh, persuade them to leave. Okay, goodness, this is not how I would want my day to start, but yeah, that doesn't sound good at all, especially nope. if they decide that the deal's not sufficient. Yeah. When did, you, when did you say you're planning to meet up with them again? Today or tomorrow? Well, I'm planning on leaving to go catch up with my scouts, uh, either by today or tomorrow. And then it's a couple days journey, so probably like two days, three days from now, uh, to meet up with my scouts who are a little ways away from them. Okay, so still plenty of time to prepare my, re my s components then? Indeed. Here. Time to rest is important. <laughs> After how my day start, I don't know if I will rest. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm totally fine with helping. I don't know about the rest of the group, but it would be good to help. That way, Mercy doesn't get under attack again, especially when we leave. Given That's one that of the reasons I want y'all to stay, Jackson actually. Are the is, only uh, ones here. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that uh, the town would be well protected. But if you're with me and we find them, I'm certain we can take care of them. If, of I course, mean, they... if we did stay here, that would mean that at least while you go to try to negotiate, the town won't be attacked while you're gone. And exactly. It won't just be and only if Jackson they kill me, they have defend. someone to defend the town. Um, that doesn't sound like a good discussion to, to say... have right now. Um. Well, you, you obviously have to wait for us. Before we go and check up on you. Well, you got to go with me. And uh, honestly, if I'm not back within a week, something bad probably happened. Uh, you can go with me or you can stay here. and Yeah. I mean, if we stay here, it's defending the town while he's gone. Because as tough as Jackson is, I don't... One, I don't think he'd survive an army. Exactly. Thankfully, it's a small band, but uh, you come with me, and they decide yeah. to fight. I could probably take them on my own, but you know, having some backup could be fun. That is true. As long as none sneak past us, that is. But yeah, should be fine. In theory. You are gonna. You are proving you've got a lot more strength than we have in a physical sense. I mean, yeah. Don't worry, if anyone sneaks past us, I have uh, multiple images of me, so. 
just look looking through through his materials. I mean, I've got not a recipe for her invisibility. He cream sponte mm-hmm. a spell that that's what causes individuals to spontaneously burst into flames. Oh yeah, and the ability to suddenly kick up a cloud of darkness. Got a got a couple little slashes of, of grease line hanging around. Plenty of medicine. Oh yeah, and this random concoction I made that I create a levitating fireball I can control with my mind. Wow. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my goblin friend. He was also tinkering with stuff. And he also really liked to burn down forests. He also I'm made this that I'm concerned that I, I remind you of the second half. Yeah, mostly remind me of him making the shield. He hands you his repulsor shield. Um, would it take any sort of check to ident- to identify it? Because I'm assuming he wants this back soon in a minute here. Uh, he would. Uh, but you're welcome to to look over it, and uh, it's it's really nicely done. The moment you touch it, you can pretty much feel um what all of it has. Uh, so I'll just post in the chat really quick on just a moment. There you go. It was definitely made by goblin hands, which is very interesting to you. It was very useful to me for so long, and the fact that it's still, you know, up and taken care of uh, means that my goblin friend is still alive somewhere. Well, that's good. Indeed. Well, well, we can do... Some pretty powerful things with the right materials. Mm. Well, I'm going to give him the shield back. We can have a day to... prep things. That way the doctor has everything he needs. Um... I will... <coughs> It'll probably be a good idea we just come with you then. <laughs> really concerned for this town, but I feel like they would more fight together as a group rather than divide up. That way when we're gone, they would still attack. I think you initially said that this town was mostly going to be assembled of adventurers anyway. Indeed. Yeah. Currently, it's mostly it folks be. who have pitchforks, but uh, Jackson's been training a few of them, so... We don't have many yeah, fighters, really but we have a lot of people who can fight. Oh, it's a start. Well, in any case, I'll probably um, swing by and give him a few of um, just my extra weapons and his dagger back to help out. He nods. So, that should help in case the um the group attacks the town while we're gone and he can use like the bell because it'll be ready at that point or his dagger or something of the sorts because I'll just need my fry pan it's pretty tough as is so Mm. I won't need anything extra so I'll probably meet him at some point either today or tomorrow morning before we leave and give him the spare weapons for him to use or the town people that'll help. <coughs> Alright. A single day to work on everything should be fine. Uh, I'll set up some more preparations. I'll talk with my scouts a little bit. Uh, make sure things are up and up and uh, get more up-to-date information. So tomorrow, uh, as soon as the day starts, uh, we'll be on our way. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. He looks Avrin. Do be careful with so much money around. Yeah. I can only try. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna stand up and start heading back. Well, yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I guess the doctor's gonna prep. Um. Uh. I need a 
drink. Doc, do you have any alcohol in you? Uh, not actively, and I just used the jar for the evening. Could you pinch me? Or Avrin pinch me? Someone pinch me, please. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to try and pinch her, I guess. Uh, does she have a location that she's indicating to pinch, or I, I just guess? I arm or something. Just, I need pinch to see if I'm awake or not. <laughs> I, I don't know I'm if I'm still dreaming or not. I, hmm. I'm going to carefully pinch her. Nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, mm, that was not a dream. Okay. <coughs> Honestly, with how yesterday went, not surprised that he did that. Um, I still have a thousand questions. I don't think that confirms anything. And Ellie just starts rambling. <laughs> Everyone's just mm, like yeah. making confused gestures because I don't think she, she's explained yet. No. Nope. <laughs> Ellie so keep... will. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, okay. Why did that say. Okay. Anyway. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. So, Ellie will turn to you, and her face is starting to get red again. It's like, um, yeah, so before you decided to come crashing in with reality, and Arthur came in too with responsibilities, um, Jack- <laughs> Ollie gave Jackson a potion, and it was a boldness potion. So you know how I kissed him yesterday? Right uh -huh. before I smacked him in the face? Yeah. Yeah, he kissed me today. Right cool. on the lips. And That's then sad. left. Really quickly. And then I don't remember after that. And then I woke up to him possibly being in danger. And yeah. Afrin does jazz hands. Well, that, sounds like great. <laughs> that sounds like great news. What's the problem? Uh, Romance. I, I don't know. <laughs> Still new to this. It's very weird. I, hmm. I, I just need to talk to Rowena about this. I don't know if that's how he feels or not. Or I'm just oblivious to all this. Do we you have want a the battle to prepare tomorrow, I think. Do you want the What's other? Up? Do you want the other sending stones cast for the day for that? I mean, it would be good to let. Luina know where we're at, but I did tell her the other day that we were still at Mercy, but since we're staying a little longer, I should probably inform her. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the sending stone in her hand. Okay. And I'll shoot a message telling her that we're still we're still at Mercy and we're planning on helping a scouting mission that's kind of nearby, a couple days away. To protect the village, and then we should be back. Nice. All right, and with that, I'm going to wrap up the session. Pretty fun. Uh, and so uh, you guys pretty much have everything kind of like moving in the f uh, good flow as is. Um, very fun. Very fun seeing if seeing Avrin uh, really get into that tense situation of near death. <laughs> Um, and now becoming arguably the richest person on the continent, and probably now being known as the richest person on the continent. <laughs> With her so actual fun, name, though. or whatever name she uses. <laughs> well, you know, first comes to worst, she can just change your identity. She could prob She would probably do that. Probably. <laughs> So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see next episode when the uh, group goes onwards uh, to face down a potential um, a potential threat of a dragonborn troop. No one knows how big their numbers are, but since they fought an entire village several times, might be large or it might be a couple of folks who are just really good at their jobs. In either case, probably will be dangerous, probably will be a wonderful fight. If you guys are interested in tuning in, feel free to pop in next week at 7pm PST. Uh, and if you guys want to see the rest of our content, like tomorrow we're going to be playing Colonel S I Love You Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good 
uh, dating simulator. We'll be playing that tomorrow at 2 p.m. PST. And the rest of our stuff is on our socials here inside of our website, uh, Google Sites, which has our full uh, weekly schedule that we usually stick to. And we'll see all of you fine folks so, next time. Bye. Are we doing Colonel Sanders, we doing Colonel Sanders Saturday or Sunday? That's a good question. Sa no, Sunday. Oh. We're doing Sunday. Sunday. Are we doing Sunday? Saturday would be possibly less loathing. Yes, because yes. we switched those around. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, That's cause right. You said tomorrow, so I was very confused for a moment. Yeah, I was packing my old schedule. But uh, yeah, so on Sunday at 2 p.m. PST, we're going to be playing uh, uh, I Love You, Carl Sanders, Finger Licking Good Romance Dating Simulator. Jesus Christ. Um... Uh, <laughs> Tomorrow we might be playing West of Loathing. We'll see depending on how we feel. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we see you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.